we live, we live, we live, we live. We live, we live. All right. So, all right, part two of what we just left off. Kelbrook, I was the same. what I was saying. Kelbrook needs to step up, fight Sean Poa, and I like him to fight, um, uh, what's his name, El Chino, um, Marcus Madonna. That's where I left off. I think Beats at that point was jumping in. Beats. Was it Beats? Because I said Beats. All right, we're going to go to Michael then. Michael, go ahead, man. Um, you're right. He, he got his mandatory out the way. Um, did what he was supposed to do, dispose of, uh, dispose of his very opponent. I know after the, after the fight in the ring, he was calling out Amir Khan. He was also calling out uh, Marquez, uh, Madonna, Thurman, all the big names. And this is the time where he should step up and have a big fight. Uh, I will prefer Khan because I think it's a big fight there. Um, it's a local fight. A lot of people come out to see it. But ultimately, it doesn't matter. Um, he's good enough to compete with the big big guys, uh, big dogs, minus Mayweather. Um, and Pacquiao, but outside of that, the Thurmans of the world, the Maidanas of the world, uh, any, other, any other top welterweights, or even... Hey, Mike, you need to, Mike, you need to speak up, man. You sound far away, man. You sound far away, man. You sound far away. Like, your voice is real low. Like, I don't know, like, you need to get close to the mic or something like that. But go on, continue what you're saying. Go ahead, Mike. Michael. Oh, man. This is the same to speak up. All right. Um, beats. Am I by myself or something like here? Oh, I'm, I'm back. I'm back. Yeah, yeah. I'm in. I'm right. in. Go ahead, Mike. Mike. Yeah, go ahead, Mike. I was say, uh, any of the other top welterweights or junior welterweights who wants to come up, uh, now's the time for uh, Kel Brook uh, to pursue those fights. He's good enough to compete with them, and I would like to see him in the ring with him. Cool, 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 cool. Fight. Cool, cool, cool. Go ahead, Beats. Oh, be nah. Yeah, yeah. Couldn't could see where we left off. Kel Brook. Go ahead. Yeah, Amir Khan, is, uh, that's the fight I think should happen. I think um, if it don't happen, it's, um, it's just bad for boxing. I think if um, domestic rivals have both reached a certain pinnacle and not fighting each other, you know, it doesn't matter if it's international or domestic, they should be fighting. And that, that should be a must. It's bad for boxing if it don't happen. Absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. Like, I was just. Do you, do you, do you, do you think, so if, it's not, if it's not Khan, yeah. who do you think it should be then? You know what I mean? No, we didn't feedback. Sorry, what was that? Go ahead, B. Go on now. He'll ask his question. Dan, Dan, ask him a question again. Go ahead. Yeah, again, Dan. Uh, if it's not Khan, who do you think should be the next one for Kel? Who do you, where do you, what direction do you think he should go in now? It, should be a it looks like Khan's just going to hold him off, to be honest, isn't it? He's not really going to fight him. Keep Thurman. Keep Thurman. He's got to be big fights, man. I've started some big fights in Keep Thurman. He's just on it, bro. <laughs> Def definitely not Frankie. <laughs> not Frankie Gavin, man. Frankie, not Frankie. Yeah. Frankie yeah. Gavin's the Frankie greatest Gavin. of all time. That's, <laughs> that's what the fans want to see. Frankie Gavin. That's that's, that's the fight fans. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> you see Frankie Gavin calling oh. this yesterday. That you, I, you, if you listen to Box Talk, they said Frankie Gavin on a beautiful performance. This is the Box Talk today. <laughs> This on a beautiful, <laughs> world class. They said, world class, man, world class. <laughs> Frankie, wow. 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 You, I, you think you think, you think Heyman, you think Heyman's gonna put Kell Brook in there? I mean, Furman in there with Kell Brook? Do you see that happening? Furman needs to. I, I see it happening. happening. I don't know if it's gonna happen in in England though, in Sheffield. Mm. That's a whole other argument. That's a whole other conversation. I think. Mean, yeah, I think I think I think they'll they'll do the same thing that they did with the gal, make it go to purse bid, and Heyman will put the money up, man. They need, to start, they need to start putting fights together where you're not going to risk streaming in case it blows out. You're, you're going to pay for it. Yeah. You're, you're going to make room in your schedule to see fights. You need to make fights like that, or but it's not good for boxing. It's just not good. It's not yeah. good. But what about Timothy Bradley, man? Yeah. Timothy Bradley. Well, I think versus, I think yeah, I think Brook needs Furman, and I, I, I can't. One at a time, guys. Go ahead. No, what about someone's uh, got feedback, man? Because I can hear from a few minutes ago, man. You can hear some echoing. Yeah. Yeah, like from a few minutes back, man. Like a minute ago. Oh, it's, it's wherever it is, it's not coming from me. It sounds all. It sounds all right over here. Where I am, I guess if someone's watching it, then they need to turn the volume down. But uh, hey, uh, what you need? You was asking. Um, what about Tim Brady? You said right. Yeah, that's a that's a good opponent. Timothy Brady again? doesn't have. 
I think Timothy Bradley may have an opponent. I think Cornelius Bunridge. Yes. Yeah. Which to me is to me is out there, you know. Why not a Kell Brook? I mean Kell Brook's a big welterweight. Why not fight him? Absolutely, man. That's I, I think Tim Bradley needs to chill, man, with his weight though, because that vegan diet. He said he, he said he feel better, but he don't know what he be eating some cow and I don't know what he be eating. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He, he, like, he, he, he wasn't well, on the vegan diet for the last fight. No, nah, he don't know. He he vegan. Yeah, he's a vegan. Where well, he was a vegan, I don't know if he is not because the way he. No, looked. he only did last. the vegan during the fights, man. During the fights. <laughs> That's some bullshit, man. Like, yeah, that, like you can't just be a vegan. Bundridge gonna beat the crap out of him, man. Who's that? Bundridge gonna beat the crap out of him. Okay. Absolutely. I thought, I thought Bundridge and um, Miguel Cotto was trying to make a fight. We don't know what's going on with Bundridge. I don't know what's going on with Bundridge, to be honest with you, man. Like, Bundridge. You say you think he's gonna beat the crap out of him, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> hey, but, but out of Tim Bradley, yeah, at 154? Bunches is tough. Bunches is tough. You know, they, they think about as he's gone up, yeah. Um, Bradley's power's gone down, isn't it? Like he's, he's not. Yeah, really, I mean, he's yeah. never really well, had that's power. I'm wondering about the he, 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 he wasn't a vegan. A, power, a guy with no power, power could put on a vegan diet. Listen, Bradley ain't got no power to trouble Bundridge. Bundridge's gonna work, and Bundridge can box too. Yeah. He and he has, a, and he has a stiff jab. He yeah. has a concussive jab. He's got a way longer reach than Bradley. I'm telling you, he's in for a beating. <laughs> That's Definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I yeah. mean, but I don't understand why. Why would why would why would Bradley be going up when he he's struggling at at, at Welter really at the moment, isn't he? Yes, that no, doesn't make any sense. He's too small for Welter. Yeah, but look how much he blows up between weights. But that's that's like uh. That that's like that's he's blowing up like a Ricky Hatton blow up. That don't mean he needs to be fighting at those higher weights. Well, it does. Yeah, I agree. No, because he's not in shape at that higher weight. He's not in that's shape true. at all. Yeah. I agree with you, that. I yeah, agree. But it's yeah, exactly. that, 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 that. Whoever's taking that call needs to mute. If you're going to take a call, you need to mute. Yeah, I agree with you that he's not in shape. But that's exactly why. The, 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 like, if he fights at Walter while he's blown up, that's detrimental to his health. Look how he finished the last fight. He was depleted. But yeah, to me, to me, to me, Chavez got the draw. He kind of struggled with Chavez. To me, me and Mike was talking about that on on Twitter. I think he got. I think uh, he struggled with Diego Chavez. A lot of people was calling it a robbery, but I, I had it as a draw. I didn't see it live, but I watched it to see what the the forefather was about. It wasn't no robbery. The fight was close. That was yeah, close. very close, very close fight. Yep. Yeah. You know, so um, added, uh, added, even, even fight. Normally, he finishes strong. He didn't finish strong in that one there, man. So that, that, to, that, that suggests probably weight. For, that, that's why he's gonna move up, man. Sometimes he, and, and he tired, he tired out in the second Pacquiao fight too. Yeah, he did. He did. He yeah. Got, that in that. Yeah, I think that might have something to do with nerves that time, though, man. I, I think he was nervous for that fight. I don't know. Didn't he? Didn't he? Uh, he, seemed rip, to, he seemed to just. Didn't he rip his Achilles tendon or something like that in that fight? Sure. Yeah, it's something with sure. ankle or his yeah. feet. But yeah. I think that was, that was in the first fight. fight. I think it was a, a muscle, a arm. No, something. no, he ripped it in the second because he he was walking with this uh, yeah, the uh, hand, the cast on. After the yeah. Hand I reckon yeah. it was a shot fighter, man. I think Ruslan. Mashed him up. <laughs> no, I'm not being fun. Being no, funny, no, right? to be he's been through wars. He's been in wars, man. I mean, I've been watching yeah, yeah. it closely yeah. since. He's, he's, been the he's been in wars, man. Yeah, no, Ruslan did a number on him, for sure. Yeah, he did. Yeah, yeah. Right, where was where were we left? Where we left off? Everyone, everyone done the Kell Brook thing, or we still on the Kell Brook thing? We're done with the Kell Brook. All right, All right. All right we're done with the Kell Brook. Right, let's talk about the undercard then. <laughs> Undercard real quick, yeah. All right, so Gavin Re Gavin McDonald. Anyone see that? Nope. I didn't even see the undercard, bro. Undercard was nope. Gavin, Gavin McDonald. Like he won the European belt. I think he's European. Um, won the Bantam belt. So he moves on. All right, and then, then we're gonna talk about um. So Frankie Gavin. We talked about Frankie Gavin. So you, everyone's ready for him to go against Kel Brook here. Yeah? We're looking forward to that, right? <laughs> <That's so laughs> No comment. No comment. No comment. All right, no comment. All right. We're going to move on to the Beats' his favorite one because Beats actually covered the video, so we're going to move on to it. Beats, tell us about the, um, the middleweight who beat Bully only. What's his name again and that guy? Tell us about that fight. Go ahead. Sergei Kaminsky is a Russian fighter. He went five rounds with Triple G years back. Gave him a decent, decent scrap. And basically, this guy, 
he's kind of like the Walter Nasal. Walter Nasal was a German heavyweight. He used to come to the UK and beat like, the British heavyweights. And this guy here, he, he, he matched up Bullioni undefeated. He, he, I mean, Frank Warren was pissed. Like, he fought um, Martin Murray just before about 2030, end of 20. He won, to me, he won the fight. Yeah. Like, people don't talk about it. He won the fight. But, you know, they gave Martin Murray the decision to beat up Jamie Moore. And he lost to Jamie Moore. No, he beat Jamie Moore up, man. He, he, did, he lost the fight. Yeah, he, he lost to Ryan, Ryan Rose and Jamie Moore, but go and go, continue. Go ahead. Oh, Kaminsky beat Jamie Moore. On the red box record, he says he lost. Well, lost, I'm, sure, I'm sure he beat him. On the box record, he lost, he lost to Jamie Moore and lost to Lion, um, Brian Rose as well. Not Brian Rose. What's his name again? Ryan Rose. Ryan Rose. Yeah, yeah, Ryan Rose beat him. Go ahead, oh, but you know what Beast is talking about? Sorry to interrupt you, Beast. He's, Beast is talking about how he's upsetting everyone in England. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, he fought this guy, Adam Etches, 15, yeah. 15 kills in 18. And he blew, blew him away in the fourth, man. Like, you know? And oh. they, they just didn't see it coming out of the blue, just like the right hand were caught him, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think, I think Chris Eubank Jr. needs to fight commitment. I think he needs to fight commitment. Yeah, he, he, if he's a gatekeeper... But he's a high. That, that's the type of guy that your prospect to your touting for world title should has to take on. Has to take on a Kamisky. But if you're saying that, yeah, the last guy Chris Eubank beat was better than him. That's it. Oh, no, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. No, he, he, wasn't. Better, he had a better record. No, no, better. I don't care about the record. I don't care. I don't care. He didn't fight. You <laughs> enough didn't fight no Triple G, bro. He didn't fight no Triple G. So you, so so you, so basically, you're saying like Eubank Jr. has to drop down. So that guy was dropping down. That's not dropping down. That's not dropping. Middleweight. Like, now we're talking about middleweight. Like that guy, right? That Kaminsky girl was brought over to get bashed up. He was there to be beaten over. His record suggested that he gets knocked up, but he beat Bulioni. And the guy he beat, them other guys who lost their bum, they're not that good. Like they, they're not that good. Like he, he's. Yeah, but to be fair, Errol, a lot of people made their careers from from supposedly mentally getting beatings, and they didn't. Right. And then they made. Hey, a big you know what happens? So. He's one. That, He's won, the, he's won the IPF International Belt each year. So listen, he, listen, I, don't, I don't watch fabricated records. I watch what's on the screen and who you're actually beating, who you're fighting. I, I don't watch no plastically made record. I don't watch that. That don't tell me nothing. <laughs> I've got my own brain. Yeah. They, they can sell that on TV all day. The, <laughs> legitimate, the, the good fight for Chris. Chris Eubanks hasn't beat no domestic level opposition. He hasn't beat an internationally good fighter yet, but he's holding an interim belt. He should fight someone like this. So we can see what he really has. I don't think that's going But you know, he's got that. But Siminski moving on, he's got the IBF international belt. So who's the IBF middleweight champion? Yeah, um, they're going to fight for it. It's vacant. It used to be Jermaine Simmons. Um, Hassan yeah, he's, and Dom is going to fight. Hassan and Dom going to fight. Gonna fight uh, who's going to fight? Yeah, look, Kaminsky ain't in no world. Right. Kaminsky's in line to fight the winner at them two. No, no, he's not in no line to get no world title. So he's not look. ready. Right? right now, Yo, isn't the IBF middleweight championship vacant yeah, since Jermaine Taylor got put in, put in prison? Eubank is not a, 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 a proper champion. He's an interim champion, right? And he won it against a C-level guy, right? He's still an apprentice fighter. This is a good... He needs a fight like this. He needs to fight like uh, this. this is, we, I agree with Beat. I mean, I mean who, Chris Eubank ain't no world beat at the moment. I mean, so, I mean... I why don't Billy Joe Saunders fight that dude? Why we why we go Eubank? Billy Joe Saunders should go and fight him. Billy Joe Saunders ain't done nothing. At least Chris Eubank has been active. <laughs> trash, man. What's that? Go ahead, Umar. Billy Joe Saunders is trash. Fight Kaminsky. I like to see Billy Joe Saunders fight that guy. That's hold on. What, what are you saying? What, what, okay, I'm not saying that it doesn't make sense, but he's got a world title fight lined up. Billy Saul Johnson. He's been, he's been, he's been sticking. I don't think he wants it. That's what he's been sticking. Yeah, bro. He had that, he had that title shot lined up since after he beat Chris Eubank Jr., bro. He still ain't take it. He's supposed to fight who? He's supposed to fight um Andy Lee, right? Hey. He don't want it, beats. He don't want it. He's like, nah. That's what he's saying. That's what he's saying. Beats is just saying that he thinks Eubank should go in against a guy, a game fighter like that, a gatekeeper, a good gatekeeper. Listen, bro, I was listening to Beats' video today. I think a good fight would be if, if Eubank Jr. could get past that dude Comiskey because I watched the fight with Beats and Arrow when, when that dude Comiskey beat the brakes off Bullioni. 
I would think that'd be a good fight. If you get past that dude, that'd be a good look. It would be. It would be. I it would be. In my opinion, that'd be a good look. Yeah. It would be. You know, because at least Billy Joe Saunders has beat guys like Blackwell, domestic, who was domestically ranked. Saunders, Eubanks' is record, like, some of the fighters have been terrible, man. The best guy he's fought is Bradley Saunders, who he's beat. And he hasn't Brad done Brad that well against him either. Listen, bro. I'm great. I'm rolling with. Listen, he ain't done nothing. Billy Joe Saunders fights once every two years. He ain't done nothing. <laughs> no, 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 I agree with you. Billy Joe Saunders is trash, bro. He didn't even beat. He, he didn't even. Yo, he didn't even beat um, Eubank Jr. In my opinion, yeah, he didn't even win that fight. Eubank won that fight. I don't know. I'm alone, I'm alone here. No, no, I, I'm with you. I thought I had Eubank winning that fight too. Yeah, Eubank won the fight. I had him winning that fight. I had Billy Joe Saunders running around the ring like a fucking fake ass Paulie Malinaji without the skill. Yeah, yeah. Uba, 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 when you finish talking, yeah, mute yourself because we get getting feedback on your ass, boy. But yeah, go ahead, Beats. Finish your point. Go ahead. Go ahead, Beats. I just think, um, like these young guys, they're masquerading behind records and interim belts. And you haven't even fought a decent gatekeeper yet. And we're talking about you're going to be this world boxing just. Like, I I'm going to be honest with you, man. Right, oh, it's only because I love boxing. Boxing today is just corny, man. It's it's just really corny. It's so corny. All right. Well, that's that's boxing beat. His take on that thing. All right. So that's the whole card of of the card in the UK. We're gonna move on to the card in. Slowly, we're gonna get to this. Slowly, we're gonna get to to Kelbrook. Everyone reckon Kelbrook should maybe step up, whatever. So that's the card in the UK. Did anyone see um the card in the Philippines? Donny Nighties versus Gilbert Pada. And uh, Nanito Donaire versus William uh, Pradu. Anyone see their fights? <laughs> uh, I, I, I saw uh, a link on YouTube of the Donaire fight before they, YouTube took it down. Um, Donaire, that was an easy fight for him. That Prado guy, he hadn't really fought anybody. He really hadn't be, he beaten anybody. And Donaire, uh, moving back down to senior featherweight, he had his way with that guy. Dominated him before taking him out with a series of left hooks. Uh, you can't take nothing away. You can't take nothing from that fight from Donaire. Uh, because it was such an easy opponent and, and a guy to make him look good. We will see moving forward um, as he steps up to, to, in the level of competition. Uh, can he? What is he at this point? Because I'm, he, I heard he had issues getting down to 122 pounds uh, for that fight. I heard that you, too. You, 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 you can't gain. You can't gain nothing from the Prado fight and, and the Nietzsche fight. A uh, good performance. Nietzsche is a bit underrated guy mm. um, in that division. He, there's a lot of big names from say strawweight to Junior Battleway that gets get much more acclaim. Um, Yen says doesn't get much uh, attention, but good performance overall. He's a solid guy. Solid guy. He's not elite, okay. but he's a solid guy. Yeah, yeah. Anyone else take anyone going to take on that before we move on? I'm a Nietzsche's fan, man. I love his style. Mm -hmm. I, I love his style. I never seen a a, a skilled pressure fighter kind of like him. You know, so mm -hmm. I like. It. Uh, I really dig it. Roman Gonzalez. Yeah, but I know I know Roman, but Roman isn't Roman. Um, Low, flyweight, yeah, Low, flyweight. Isn't he? He's flyweight, right? And and Neatus is light flyweight, right? That's right, junior flyweight. That's correct, yeah. Yep. So uh, Roman's good, but I think Neatus is more clinical, man. That guy is like so precise, mm. like he's, he's he's so 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 clinical, man. And and he doesn't get hit as regular. You know, Roman blocks and stuff. He slips and he comes in. I just love his style. It's so slick and it, it, everything about it's interesting. Yeah. Yo, Al, you talking about the um, Filipino card? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cool. Well, well, I'm on my. I I can't appreciate no Filipino right now, man. I'm on my fuck Filipinos until Floyd do that work. <laughs> Oh, you're on a mad one, bro. You can't be saying that, man. Ah, bro. Ah, bro. Don't make me start talking like it. I'm gonna start talking like it. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Once again, if you wanna talk to Puma, anyone listening to this, Puma, come see me. Ben Puma 16. Ben Puma 16 on Twitter. Come see me, boxing terror. There you go. All right. Holler at me. Yeah, yeah. Terrorist for truth. Yeah, Donny Donny Nineties for me. Yeah. I was saying, like, yeah, he beat Maurice Fuentes. He beat him twice. The first fight was close. Yeah. The second fight, he beat him. That was a good fight, man. Chris. Yeah, mute, you had to mute Chris, man, because, like, too much fun of it. Yeah, Donnie Nietzsche beat Maurice Fuentes. He beat him in a rematch. And then also, um, 
You know, he's he's the, he's, the, he's a leading guy underneath um, Donito Denaire and Manny Pacquiao. So he's a good guy. You know, I know some people listening probably think who, who I'm talking about. So Donnie in the 90s, um, he's, he's a good uh, junior like flyweight champion. Um, you guys go check him out. Also, Donito Denaire, he, he beat the guy in a round as well. He's still at featherweight. I was surprised. So he may be looking for another run at featherweight. Maybe we're going to match him against Gary Russell Jr. Or um, Junior, Gary by the way, Errol. No, Junior, no, no. By the way. Yeah, yeah, he weighed 122 for that fight. He's, he's back down at Rigo status. He's a super oh, bantam. Yeah. All right, my bad, bad. Oh, my bad. Okay, my bad. But, all right, so yeah. we see what he does. Um, we see what he, where Nanito Dene goes, goes the, um, does what he does. All right, we're going to move on to the Mexican card. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you go on, man, I would like to see Dene rematch Rigandau because all them other coons, man, they ain't facing Rigandau. So I, I, I give props to Dene if he faces him again. Hey, you know what? Let's stick with that, right? What about? I don't want no to go rigging down, man. Yeah. What about? What about him? What about Nanita, um Donair, Donair versus one and another? Quig, Frantum, um, Santa Cruz, or even like um, the guy over there, the guy from Sheffield. What's his name again? Um, Kid Chocolate. Was it not Kid Chocolate? Kid Gallagher. Uh, Kid Gallagher. Yeah, Kid Gallagher. Yeah, yeah, Kid Gallagher. We could talk. Yeah, yeah. This got a lot of fights. You know what? It's probably better. He is hard, you know. Like I'm beast played up. Yo, L, L, let me man, get that like one first. Pinos, man. You just said, you get out of here, man. You out of here. <laughs> yeah, we ain't talking about no Filipinos. <laughs> we talking, <laughs> yeah, we talking about rigging down. Nah, nah, we ain't talking about that. You just said, man. Anyways, yeah. Yes. Who that? Nah, that was it. Hey, hey, I'm going to get back. Chris, man. Alright, yeah, what I'm saying? So, Ah, Chris, you need to mute yourself for real. You need to come on your phone or something, right? Let Chris right? say his piece. We'll all be quiet then, innit? Yeah, I wouldn't want anything to say. Yeah, everyone's on it, you know? Yeah. All right, Chris, you need to mute yourself, right? Yeah. Chris, you see, I'm here. What's you say, yeah, Mike? Chris, Chris, stop rubbing yeah. your couch down, bro. Stop rubbing that little, little couch, man. Chill out. Hey, Chris, chill out. What do you think I'm saying? I'm saying, I'm saying, like, look, there's some good place for him. It's only to mute himself. All right. So the good fights for him. So hopefully he'll fight one of them guys. All right, who else wants to jump in? Mike wants to jump in. Go ahead, Mike. Um, Donaire and his prospects down at 122. Um, he beat Santa Cruz. Santa Cruz to me is the weakest of the champs down there. Um, Galahad is an interesting opponent. Um, skill wise, hmm. uh, Galahad has the skill to outbox uh, Donaire. Um, Galahad is the is the guy at 122 that nobody talks about. Uh, he just hadn't fought. He just hadn't fought the guy that put that would put him on the map, but he's highly skilled, so he can outbox him. Um, Rigo, um, if, if Rigo returns to form and fought him like he did the first time, he's not. Donaire's not going to beat him. He didn't beat the first time, and if and if, if uh, Rigo's in top form, he won't beat him again. Uh, Quig, uh, I'm a fan of. I'm not not Quig, but Frampton. I'm a fan of Frampton. Um, if Frampton can, that's a. Kind of a 50-50 fight to me. It just, just depends on Donaire's mind, mind state. And I think if Donaire is right mentally, because that's the key with Donaire, if he's right mentally. If he's right mentally I think, think Galahad beats. Right. I think, I, I think um, Donaire beats Galahad quite easily, man. Uh, yeah, like, no one wants to fight him, though. That's why I mentioned him. Yeah. You know, and, 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 and quick, I, lastly, I think if the, the Donaire that went in there with Walters goes in against Frampton, he could win that fight. Hell yeah! Well, man. Oh, hold on. Who who mentioned Galahad getting beat, man? Alhamdulillah. No, I said. I said who who mentioned Galahad? Me, 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 I said Galahad. <laughs> no, not 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 you, Mike. Not my, not you, Mike. Not you, Mike. I want to talk about you, man. Listen, man. Galahad got work for all them crackers, man. Listen, fam. The white boys ain't fucking with Rigo. They scared of Rigo. They ain't fucking with Galahad. But we're talking about we're talking they about Nino. He ain't no white boy. We're talking about Nino. Man, he close enough to a white boy. We ain't talk about Rigo. We ain't talk about Galahad. I'm gonna be serious when you. You know what I mean? <laughs> Let me be quiet. Go ahead, make your point, homie. Let me make your point, homie. Wow. At 122, yeah. Like, <laughs> Frampton, once again, you know, they haven't helped. Well, uh, haven't helped that weight limit. They're not fighting each other. Well, I mean, they keep arguing they're not going to fight this negotiation, that negotiation. So the, yeah, the, right. He's not on my level. Santa Cruz <laughs> not committed to no big fights, so we can't determine where the big fights are going to happen because they're not giving us anything. 
So that's, what, that's, that's why, why that's weight class. Yeah. That's why. That's why that's I'm so happy. Way. That's why I'm so happy that Donaire is coming back down to super bantamweight because I know Donaire has been knocked out. You know, he's been beaten by Rigo. He can't get any lower. So he has nothing to lose. So he will he'll go down there and he'll do what he got to do. So and in a credit, way, credit, no need of fights for people that are put in front of him. He doesn't he doesn't bitch and moan, man. You give no, credit man. Credit That's what I like about the guy. And, yeah. And so, uh, Mito is a fighter that everybody is gonna want to fight because he's he's a name fighter and he brings yeah. you know attention. Well, that's not really yeah. what you said there. He had to be. He was almost forced into fighting Rigging. That wasn't. He was doing everything. Yeah, he was. He <laughs> was initially to fight initially the he didn't want to fight Rigging. Donaire he fought him. That's the thing. Rigo. You know what I mean? Initially, didn't want to fight him. Oscar De La Hoya was forced into fighting a lot of people, but he fought him. He fought him, man. That's exactly. I, I give I give him kudos exactly. for fighting these. I I give him kudos for fighting these guys because nobody else in the division wants to fight Rigo. Nobody, you know. And and it's and and I think Rigo's getting a bad name because of Donaire. So come back full circle. He whoops Donaire's butt again. Donaire goes and fights somebody else. It's nothing for Donaire. Donaire's been through it all, so I think Donaire will, 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 and he's so strong, man. I watched that fight against uh, 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 the, 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 the guy from uh, Brazil, and he was beating that guy down like shoot. He was running through that guy. You know what I mean? And I'm just saying he's a very, very big super bantamweight, which, which is a big, big deal. You know? Yeah. Good point. My question is mentally: is he mentally fully there? Because he's settled. He's made a lot of money. He's happily married. I just want him mentally. He's all the way there. If he's there mentally, he can do some things. But if not, um, I don't see much happening for him. Even if I agree. I agree. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. So, hey, anyone else want to cover that on um on the needs of the air? Um, or we can move on to the next one. Next stay, one. Stay out of the featherweight division. Nah, man. Nah, we still there, man. We still there, man. I think Fram they can beat. Um, I think Fram though beat beat him though. I don't know. We don't even know how good if we don't even know how good he got beat by um the ex man and he the guy he beat wasn't even that good. So we we gotta see him against somebody that can fight first before we say he back and everything. Right. That's why I said you can't gain nothing from that fight against Prado. Prado was a nothing a nothing opponent for him. I say I say I say Donaire right at this point beats the brakes off of Cal Frantum. I know you guys are gonna say no, but I I'm saying you. That. I'm telling you. I don't know about beating the brakes. I think he beat the brakes. I don't know about beating the brakes. Nah, he ain't gonna beat the brakes off him though. <laughs> Watch me. I say he beat the brakes. The two reasons. He's fought the Axe Man, who has a longer reach. Not as accurate, but he has a longer reach. And he put it down on the Axe Man. You guys, you know, there's no argument on that. You know what I mean? He put it on the Axe Man. Axe Man came back and knocked him out. <laughs> he decimated him, but. He's a small guy fighting a bigger guy, and he put he put some work on the axe man. So, huh, Carl Frampton, <laughs> he ain't gonna. Well, he had that right. speed advantage, but once the once the axe man adapted to that speed, it was lights oh, out. Yeah. yeah once yeah, he yeah. got that jab working, it was lights out. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. He started timing him, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. Well, that's that's it. Well, Chris. Um. Yeah, Chris. What happens? Anything about Joe Brooklyn? Yo, Brooke and Joe, Joe Dan, real quick before we go on. Man, he beat the shit out of Joe Joe Dan. <laughs> that wasn't even no fight. Joe Joe Dan. Joe Joe Dan, train a brave man. Joe Joe Dan, train a brave man. <laughs> I want to let him come back out there. <laughs> like, is my leg still working? That's what that was about. Does my oh, leg still work? Okay. It would still work. ending match. I'm trying. My damn thing messed up. I'm trying to fix it now. Somebody mute me. I know my computer froze. My computer froze. Uh, hey, I can't mute him. Arrow got <laughs> there you go. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right, do that. All right, so wait. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let, 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 let me. Sorry, let me just say. 
because everyone's sort of like keep muted while everyone's talking because I it's probably a lot of static. Well, if someone's talking, just keep muted and then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When they finish talking, just, uh, but you know, it's, most of the guys, it was more or less the feedback guys. All right, anyway, let me just see what I'm saying. Hey, so everyone's cool, cool with that one. We was all right. Like, um, let's move on to the next one then. Move down the card. All right, so we've covered that. Uh, one Francisco Estrada um, versus Ronnie uh, as Joe. Um, anyone see that fight? Yeah. All right, let me let me do my take on it, man. Yeah, Estrada, right. Estrada needs to fight someone named man, like like. Chocolate was fighting on, on, a, on a big car. He needs to get himself on one of them big cars because over there in Mexico, he's big, but he needs to come over. Some of you guys need to see who he is. Estrada's a great fighter. He's like one well Marquez. Um, he's a, he's really, really good, but like we ain't going to see him. None of you guys are going to see him unless he's on an undercar, so you can really see how good he is. He's the unified champion at the minute, WBA, um, flyweight champion. Yeah, that's right. So um, hopefully he can get himself on another card. All right, someone else chime in. Go ahead, on Estrada. Okay. Man, go ahead. <laughs> go ahead, one of you, one of you, man. Go ahead, bro. All right, all right. Yeah. Um. It, am I talking about the fight, or am I just talking about him generally? If you go about the, you want to talk about the fight, and then if you want to talk about it in general as well. Well, that fight was hilarious, man. Yeah. They threw that towel in there, and I'm like, why? Yeah. <laughs> At the end of match. The... It was a mismatch. Is what it was. It was, a, it was a straight mismatch. You see it, like the worst couple of punches. He he walked away. He didn't want it, and then the, the, they were frightened. He would have been not. It was in there not that bad. But go ahead, go ahead. But I I thought I when I was looking at it, it yeah he was walking the guy down. But um, I still didn't understand why they threw the towel in. I I, I was watching it on low. It wasn't uh, HD or anything. But to me, it was. Uh, I I didn't really see him. Putting a real serious beat down on the guy, mm -hmm. so I, I didn't I didn't understand why it was stopped. So just uh, just like that, he, the beating was coming. He knew it. You know what I mean? It's like the tide. You know it's coming in, bro. <laughs> he's like what that shit. He knew the beating was coming. Like you see his face. He was gonna get knocked out really badly. He was beating the shit. But the guys are no name, like. But you can get away with it in them in the divisions. But um, go ahead, um, go ahead, go ahead. Well, to me, to me, I didn't see him getting beat the shit out of. Maybe I missed something. He was not. No, he was great. You see, the thing is, yeah. Sometimes boxing, yeah, they let things go too far. But that guy and the trainer knew the fighter and the trainer knew it was coming, and they said, "Nah, fuck it." <laughs> they wouldn't know what. But that's that. You know, the beat. He was. He was gonna get a beaten. It was. It was such a mismatch. I mean, uh, now like, why get in the ring? <laughs> why I, get in the well, ring if that's what you're gonna do? Yeah, well, that's what he. Well, that's what he listens. Sometimes do that. I, I listen. I don't fuck it. He don't care. He took his money and ran out. I mean, if someone paid me like a couple of millions to fight Mike Tyson back in his prime, she. <laughs> as soon as the first part, wind hit me, I'm down on the ground. Nah, I, <laughs> <laughs> it's true, man. Like maybe you need the money, but it was a, it was a terrible. It wasn't good for him. He needs to step up and be on one of the big American cards so everyone can see it. But go ahead and finish your point, my man. Let me move on to um. Michael, no Mike wants to say something about it. Go ahead. Well, I was just a little confused why the fight stopped. In my opinion, uh, uh, through those couple of rounds, I didn't really see the guy take a lot of. Of course, it's different in the ring, but I didn't see the guy really taking a whole bunch of punishment, as far as I was concerned. He was trying to fight back. He he was he was a, uh, much smaller than Estrada. You could see the. It's visibly he was completely smaller. Mm -hmm. But he he wasn't he wasn't treated like Rod Salker, if you get what I mean, versus Danny Garcia. You know, it wasn't a fight like that. In fact, I I, I can't remember if the guy got dropped at all. No, nah, right? he, he get dropped. No, nah, he didn't get dropped. But he just got a beat. Right. Right? Now, but who's he the guy? Got, he got he got a left hook. It was a left hook to his head that he got, and then they, he he continued to try to come in on his strata, and then they just threw in the towel. So he, I. I he got a left hook and he walked away, and the referee was following it, and then he looked at his right. corner, corner through the towel. And that, and I, cause I got it, it's on YouTube. He to see yeah. the corner that he didn't want no fight no more. The corner, you know, they've been, the, guy, the guys from the, the thing was from the Philippines, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it was. Hey, a, you talk about Francisco Estrada? Yeah, yeah. Was, but one minute. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right, okay, so, okay, bro. Yeah, like, he, he didn't want no more. He didn't, he didn't want no more, bro. He didn't, that's why. He, I didn't. No, I didn't. You don't have to see no real big damage. It was subtle things. I could see it was a it was a complete mismatch. They could see it, and even though you like you didn't say you put a big beat in them, but they the corner cared for the kid so much. They said, Nah, it's not even worth it. Just get out of here, and that was it. Like you know, they, no one really complained. 
But I, if you think about it, the other um, Estrada's people didn't complain. They knew, like everyone knew. Maybe it was a maybe it was a late opponent change of late opponent or something. But the guy that's what, what now, round did they what round did they stop the fight? He was round three. three. Oh man, that, that's no time. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah. didn't want none. He didn't want none. Didn't want none. Never had none. Never seen none. But anyway, go ahead. You want to finish? Say what you're saying, bro, and then we move on to Mike. Go ahead. Well, I'm, I'm almost done there because I, to me it was kind of confusing, but I've seen it before in those small, in those uh, lower weight divisions. I've seen all kinds of crazy things happen. So I was like, I thought he knocked him out, but he didn't, you know, I thought he got a TKO, but it, it was more of a, the guy just stopped fighting, basically. Mm -hmm. And it was his corner that threw in the towel. So it was kind of really weird, but, you know, I kind of laughed about well, it's it. It's possible he motioned to his corner that he, he, he didn't want to continue. That's what I said, yeah. I, I I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. All right, go ahead, Mike. Go on, Mike. Get your fill out. Get it out of your system. Go ahead, Mike. That's your guy. I think he dropped out. Mike dropped out, Al. Let me get that. Mike dropped out? All right, go ahead, Duma. Oh, Ben. Oh, we're talking about Francisco Estrada, correct? You the fight? Yeah. You the fight, though? Yeah, I went back and watched it, but I don't want to speak directly on the fight. I just want to speak on my boy Francisco Estrada. I want to speak on his behalf. Where Chocolatito at, man? Where he hiding at? Where he living at? He down there in Nicaragua hating, hiding. What's, what's popping? Because the first fight, no, let me finish the first fight. We won that first fight, but he's still hiding. So what's popping? Can, can somebody explain me what's popping? Yeah, Mike's coming. Mike's coming for you. Don't worry about it. Mike's coming for you, ass. Go ahead. He's, he's no, 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 no. Go ahead, Mike. Go ahead, Mike. Oh, go ahead. What you need? He's fighting on the uh, undercard of Triple G. Tell him. Tell him. Tell him. This is what I'm trying to say. That's yeah. where he needs to be. That's what I'm trying to say where Strahd needs to be, fighting on a big undercard, man. So all that stuff you, you say, where is he at? He's fighting on a Triple G. He won't get more people looking at him to find out who this kid is, man. Yeah, nah, uh, nah, stop making excuses for Chocolatito. Just because... He's fighting on the just, forum. Yo, Errol, just because his name is Chocolate don't mean he black, family lamps. Don't 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 make excuses. Errol Chocolatito. How was that yeah, yeah, yeah. on the undercard? We're fighting on the undercard of Triple G versus Willie Monroe. That's not no big event. No. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, let me yeah yeah let me let me get on the Grinch. Yo, let me get on the yo yo Errol. Let me get on the Grinch's. Let me get on the Grinch's wavelength. Why the fuck is Triple G even? Fighting Willie Monroe, who just won the Boxino. Before he won the Boxino, nobody knew who the fuck Willie Monroe hey, was. Why is he even fighting Willie we're Monroe? We're getting stages, my brother. We're gonna get to that stuff. Yeah, let's stick with what we came in for. Francisco Estrada. Right, all right, all right. Yeah, well, all right. Let, let me let me talk about Francisco Estrada. Then Francisco Estrada is that dude. That first fight he had with Chocolate Tito. That first fight he had with with the Hawaiian Punch. Everybody, he came in that fight. Nobody knew who he was. But me, Arrow, and Beats, and, and probably y'all brothers on this line. But you brothers on this line, we probably the only people who knew who he was. He went in there and beat the brakes off the, uh, the Hawaiian punch. And he had the first fight with um, Chocolate Tito. That, I, in my opinion, he won. Y'all may have a different opinion. Why the fuck? Where he at? He got most of the belts in the division. Where he at? But everybody want to scream Chocolate Tito, even though the lineal champion is Juan Francisco Estrada. Where he at? Good Where point. his respect at? That's a good point, man. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Well, man. Hey, hey, but anyway, like I said, to answer these points, Chocolate always fights in Japan or he fights in Nicaragua, so he don't really get the most people watching him. I know we know who he is, so fighting an undercard or a Triple G will give him more views um, compared to what he normally gets. So, you know, you know the fireways don't really get that much. Visibility, anyways. Yeah, because has, has he even fought on HBO before? No, never. No, don't say. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. He did. He, he did. He did. His one. He only had one fight on HBO. Uh, my brother Natty. It was the fight he had against Brian Valoria on the on the undercard of um the the premier fight of um that 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 Chinese motherfucker. What's my man's name that just lost the fight to uh, That's Roy Ryan? Right? That's his fight. Oh, uh, oh, Chocolatito never. But Estrada yeah. fought that one fight. On the card of uh, the Chinese dude, and I don't think a shot at that. And I like a shot at through. I don't think they ever gave a shot at some respect to put him Zhu on Shiming. TV. I don't think they ever did. Zhu Ming. Yeah, Zhu Ming. Yeah, Zhu yeah, yeah. That that you remember the you, Natty? You remember the under, um the first fight he yeah. fought on? Yeah. 
I believe Valoria beat him, man. I think he beat Estrada. He retained his really? belts. That's how I thought about it. That fight? That fight you think Valoria won? Yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on. I got to ask you a couple questions. Uh, where are you from, fam? You Jamaican? No. You, you, you Trini? Yes, sir. Hey, man. Oh, get out of here, bro. Come on, man. We both Trini, bro. Get out of here, man. You got to agree with me, man. We, 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 we got to ride out together, bro. We got too many Jamaicans on this line for you to be disagreeing with me, bro. We got too many Jamaicans out here, man. Get out of here, man. I'm about to, I'm about to go downstairs and put me some cock in the bowl right now, baby. I'm about to eat some cock. Stop playing. Oh, seriously, seriously, man. I think Valoria B. Hey, you guys are drifting off. You guys are who more left? Oh, my God. We drifting off, right? We gotta spend enough time on this game. Let's move on. Um, <laughs> let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> Sorry, Ume's killing me, bro. <laughs> hey, let's move on. Hey, hey one minute. Hey, oh, all right, so we're, going, hey, so we're going down to Canada now. Um, Donovan Razor Ruddock versus Raymond Olavami. Olavami. Is Olavami? And anyone see that fight? Um, it's all over. I posted it everywhere, so everyone should have seen it. Um, anyone jump in and say if they've seen Donovan Razor Brother on his comeback. Six round fight against the Nigerian guy. Raymond Olobam. Anyone see that fight? Alright, I'm going to go back to it. Yeah. No, sorry. I, I, sorry. I, I sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I just want you to go first. He nearly got knocked out. He nearly got knocked out, man. Like the, the guy was, right. the guy was six, seven, one big, big, big bro. And um, he was tying up Ruddock quite kind of easily in there. He was tying him up, throwing some body shots on him and jabbing him quite well. But um, Ruddock, Ruddock had, had a few reflexes, but, you know, his body's all flabby and he don't have the same power. He's trying to smash punch. He didn't have the timing on it. He threw some good good smash punches to the body. But the guy made a mistake because he floored Ruddock in the fourth. He threw him down, came out for the fifth, and he kind of let Ruddock off the hook when he asked the referee to, clinch, to break him from the clinch. Then Ruddock stepped back from the clinch and he caught him with an uppercut. So he still got the power and he knocked him out. He knocked the guy with an uppercut and a left hook. So, mm. yeah, won the comeback, but I don't know how far he's going. So you, you reckon he's ready to come back and take the world no, and try no. get, run for the championship? Guy's nearly 50 no. years old. He's, he's been prime. Though, man. He's I, been prime. Now, you ain't seen it yet, but y'all are talking, but none of me. I, I've seen the fight. Beans has seen the fight, y'all, but. 51 hey, he's 51. He's 51. He was still trying to land that big upper, 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 upper. He could, half up got a half hook, he landed it twice, and then the guy went to his knees. I think they should let the guy come up. I think the referee finished it. They knew, you know, they should let the guy, they should let the guy get up. But you know, like he was hurt, but I think the guy could have continued, though, innit, Beats? What do you think? Nah, he was dead, man. He was dead. Yeah? Well, you think the guy could have continued the fight? It didn't, look, it didn't look like he looked like he was messed up from what I saw. looked like he was messed up. Oh, man. All right, cool, man. But I, I think, you know, Ray, I think you can, I think you can make a run at the championship. I think, yeah, I but, but, but hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Can I say something? That is just a testament to the state of boxing, not a testament. <laughs> Listen, can't make no run of championship. The guy fought was knocked out four times before. Even Shannon Briggs, they could fight for the Carolina belt, man. That'll be good. <laughs> that shit was sad, man. I didn't even like watching that. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't even like watching that. It was hard as what I ain't gonna lie. All jokes aside, I'm not gonna lie to you, right? He, 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 he was, he had more head ever in his career, but. He was, he was in good shape, but just getting the ring at 50 years old was, was impressive. But he he, he going to get really hurt. He don't need to be putting himself in that situation. Who just stepped up? Someone just came out? Um, he don't really, really need to be putting himself in, in, in that situation. Oh, it's Michael coming back. He don't really need to be putting himself in that position, in my opinion, raising brother. But I guess he must need the money. And this is a stats. Obviously, obviously, he needs the money. Obviously. Yeah, yeah, but this way, if he was gonna attempt to do that, he should have did that at least ten years ago, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Right. Was gonna, was gonna fight. That's gonna how fight. I feel about Razor Ruddock. He's one of the biggest underachieving heavy. He was a great heavyweight, but he oh, underachieved in his prime. What is he gonna do at the age of fifty-one years old? Uh, it was the Mike Tyson fights, Mike Tyson, man. Them two Mike Tyson fights. Mike Tyson fights done him. He went underachiever. He just met up with. He was just. He was that dog, man. He just. If he didn't fight Mike Tyson, if he never fought Mike Tyson, that guy could have done something. But Mike Tyson. They might two Mike Tyson fights were just vicious, bro. It, it took a lot out of both of them. It took a lot out of both of those fighters. Yeah, yeah. yeah I think he done well in that fight. I think he done well, but he just didn't. I mean, Lewis knocked him out. Was that two rounds or something? And then after that, he was done. He was a shot fighter by then, though, man. Yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, what else did he do? What else did he do? That was crazy. He was fighting for the money by then. Oh shit! What? Tommy Morrison knocked him out. Yep. 
Yeah, he did, didn't it? Yeah, for sure. He yeah, did. he did. I forgot about that. <laughs> I'm trying to carry him on the throw a few times, though, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. But, um, what was your... Hey, so, anyone else got... Mike, you want your take on Razor Rudder? Mike was there pound for pound. Guess not. Uh, I, 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 don't, I don't see any championship coming for, for him, man. No way. Not in a million years, man. He's not coming. I, 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 I want to see him... Versus... I, don't, I don't see hey. it for Tyler, and I don't see it for him. Hey, should I, hey, should, hey look, George, I remember when Larry Holmes went against... Um, Larry Holmes was still fighting and stuff, but he ain't even good like that. I think he should try and fight for um him and I think him and Finch should fight. Shannon Briggs, man, I like to see that fight. No offense, but but Larry Holmes is a better fighter than Razor Rudder. Yeah, yeah. technically, and um I seen Larry Holmes at 50 years old beat beat uh what's the butter bean with a jab? Yeah, all night long. All he did was throw the jab. Yeah. He beat yeah. Chris yeah. Mercer with doing yeah. the same thing. Do you remember? He was, he was taking yeah. a piece with Mercer. Yeah, he, but he, he, he threw more than a jab against Mercer. He beat Mercer up. <laughs> yeah, he humiliated him. He yeah. beat Ray Mercer up. All right, cool, cool, cool. All right, so, hey, right, so I, I, Shannon Briggs, I like to see it, but beat like me, I don't think he's gonna, he gonna do it that far. It's a nah. shame. It's sad. Let's see him again. Hey, Chris. Go ahead, Mike. Go ahead, Mike. Go see what you say, Mike. Oh, man, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, fellas. My Google went bad on me. What were you talking about? That's all right. Good. Now we're talking oh, about Razor Rudder. Yeah, Razor Rudder, go ahead. We're talking about Razor uh, Rudder. Do you... I don't know much about the fight. I just heard that he fought. I and I heard that he won. Uh I don't know how he looked or anything, but can I get a comment about um Francisco Estrada? Yeah, you sorry, yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, ben Umar and I was talking about this uh, on my show a couple of weeks ago and we agree that uh Juan Francisco Estrada is one of the over the past couple of years, he's one of the most improved fighters in the world, and um, he's one of the absolute best in a loaded strawweight division. Um, I saw the fight from last night. It ended strangely, but I'm not mad because Estrada, he was the better boxer. He was gaining momentum, and I think he was originally going to stop the guy. Um, as far as his future, um, I'm hearing a possible rematch with Valoria. I don't really want to see that. Uh, the fight that is out there. It for Estrada is, of course, a, a rematch with Chocolito Gonzalez, who fought in 2012. It's one of, it was one of the fights of the year. Um, I would like to see it again. Ben Umar, we've had our back and forth about that. He believes that um, Estrada, he won the first fight and that he will win the rematch. I thought that Gonzalez won the first fight. Uh, the rematch, I think he will win, but who knows. But uh, again, Juan Francisco, Francisco Estrada, um, he's Ben's boy. Um, he thinks he's the best at flyweight, but I will agree with him to his, this extent. I think he's a He's a damn good fighter, and a, uh, one of the fighters that uh, really you should pay attention to, and more people should know about. Mhm. Mm Did you see the fight, though, Mike? I, I saw it. It was on YouTube. I saw it this morning. Um, so, like I said before, I, it was a the ending was kind of strange, but I wasn't yep. too mad because Estrada was he was the better boxer, more class and skill, and I think eventually he was going to take him out anyway. So I wasn't too mad at the finish, even though it ended kind of early. All right, cool, man. Thanks for that. All right, Razor Rudder, go ahead. Your take on Razor Rudder, go ahead. Oh, me? Yeah, Michael, go ahead. Oh, me? I, I, I just read about the fight and heard about it. I didn't see it, so I can't really give a, uh, an analysis and observation about it. So you can go to someone else. Okay, all right, fair enough. Then. Well, we, we kind of talk, kind of cover that subject. Uh, we're going to move on down the line. Um, we're going to go to the next fight. Roy Jones Jr., um, I believe. Yeah, Pensacola Flores finest. <laughs> fighting Paul um, Vasquez. Anyone see that fight? Beats or no Beats must have seen it. Go ahead, Beats. He must have seen it. Go ahead, Beats. Roy Jones. Just, uh, just, um, just an also ran a problem like he just punched him up, man. That, that, I mean, it doesn't mean anything, really. I mean, yeah. it's just another play on his record, but it doesn't mean anything. Roy Jones is looking shaky, man. Go ahead, Chris. What's that, Chris? I said, Roy Jones is looking shaky. No, sorry. He didn't look too smart, but he used to be. No, he, 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 he was sharp, though, man. He knocked the guy in the first round. That was impressive. Though. I was impressed, man. I know, I know they do that in the first round. Yeah, yeah, you're probably right, man. <laughs> you're probably right. I think he's ready. Hey, <laughs> oh, hey, he, was after, trying to, he was trying to rough Roy up a little bit, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think after that, Roy fight, he's ready for Marco Hook now. I reckon he's ready for Marco Hook. Well, he's <laughs> he's <gonna get> <laughs> Why not, man? If he's going to continue fighting... Um, at cruiserweight, might as well, man, or just 
Just hang it up. What are you doing? It's no of a chat. Yeah, Marco, I think you could You think you could beat Marco Luke at this point in time right now? Hell no, no. no. It's not no. impossible. Because Marco Hook is not, not that good. Yeah, Marco Hook, he's right. He's wider. He throws wide. He's not a killer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, you're right. I mean... Guys, he's you, active, um, that's where he has the advantage. really no killer like that neither, though. <laughs> no, uh, besides, yeah. besides Natty, um, anytime Roy has faced any punches lately and got caught, he's been put down and knocked out. And if Hunt catches Roy, yeah. But if you look at exactly, he needs to stop encouraging Roy, man. He needs to hang up. You should it, stop encouraging him, man. <laughs> they have to land. They have to land at a certain spot. Because if you look at the shots that have been putting Roy down, it's always behind the ears. It's always a hook behind the ears that's putting him down. It's never really on the chin. What, the Glenn Johnson, the Tava shot behind the ear shots? No, what? Uh, no, no, I'm talking about those they recent kind of, ones. You're talking about the head, though, Beats. They were kind of those, those the head. Head. I'm talking about the, um, the green, the Levdevev, those, 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 those knockouts right there. <laughs> those were kind of behind the air shots. But we we making excuses, Natty man, because we like. No, I'm not. I'm not saying. I'm not making excuses. I'm just saying. Catch those kind of hooks behind the ear. Hey, look, I'm, just, I'm just saying. I don't think Roy Jones is as chinny as everybody says he is. But he, he, anyway, anyway, you hit him in the head, he go down. It's the same thing they said about David Price when when Tony Thompson got it. They said he hit a legal punch, in it, in it beats. They were saying he hit a legal punch around around the thing. They were saying it was a fluke, but Roy Jones can't take it. You know what? Roy Jones' punch resistance is gone, man. No, yeah, they, they were illegal. Yo, yo, Roy, yo, Roy, Roy, Roy is a fucking cocaine blast away from going to sleep for life, man. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. No one said yeah, it. Man, I just don't, I just don't, I just don't think that. Like, put it this way. If we were here discussing Johnny Nelson kicking Marco Hunt's ass, like that was, just, I, 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 I think Johnny could be. I, I, Johnny I, could be. I, after this dude yeah, been out, out of the ring for ten Johnny years, Nelson, you <laughs> after he's been out of the ring for ten years, I think uh, Roy Jones has a shot. Come on. Yeah, I think I think he could be. I think he could be. I think he could be Gregory Hook. Um, Gregory Judds, man. Who? That, who's who? <laughs> Ah, he's a guy who has a belt at cruiserweight. Yeah, cruiser belt, cruiserweight. Yeah, title holder. Oh, Gregory okay. Dredge. Which right. one does he have? WBC. WBC. Yeah. Now the the Cuban dude. Hernandez stay away has from the WBC. Cuban dude. Huck has to. Yeah, Roy need to stay away from that dude. That um. That um. That clinch first fight at cruiserweight. What's the name? Oh, um, he got knocked out. He has a WBC. So, uh, uh, Gregory. Uh, you talking about um? You see. You see. Yeah. Alexander uses, but he yeah he yeah, yeah Alexander uses is definitely look like he gonna go somewhere. But like Roy Roy Jones to be honest with you, right? I, I, man, he got like he's won a couple of fights in a string, and um, yeah, I don't think none of these fights are gonna get you ready for a Marco Hook. But we enjoy the ride. But you know, at some point it's gonna come to an end. Like like um Pascal, so then reflexes start dumbing and stuff like that. Or some guys are a bit more smart, and then you just get a beating. Boxing, we was talking beats. Were saying earlier on about the Audie Harrison thing. So, um, we might also go on to that slightly with all the Harrison thing, the accumulation of all the Harrison's knockouts. He's having effects. Beast, Beast, I made a video, so I let Beast go into that. Go ahead, Beast, talk about the Audi Harrison. We're talking on that. Yeah, he's officially retired. Like, um, he done some research into traumatic brain injury, and he definitely fell into that category what he was researching. So, he's having to retire. He's having problems with his vision, um, neurological problems. He's getting moodiness and all that good stuff that comes with taking not. Uh, concussive knockouts and uh, knockdowns, man. So yeah, that's that's yeah, where it doesn't always necessarily slur your speech, man. No, no, but man, let me ask y'all a question. When has Audley ever actually taken a legit con concussive knockdown? Yeah. Audley be getting tapped and goes to sleep. Oh, Stop yeah. it, man. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You heard something cool, Michael Sprock. Yeah. yeah, I was just about to. I was just about to mention the bed for bed. That's the only time he ever got a clean punch landed on. When he fought Deontay, Deontay was throwing wild. All he just dropped to the ground with his bad knees. He's like, fuck it, I, I'm gonna take my check and go home with it. I, Come I on, man, David Price. Yeah, let me tell you this now, right? David Price, the same thing, man. He, I, I mean, beats, 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 beats. Give me this credit. He went in there with David Price that. I'm not going to even be be too graphic about what my opinions are. But he went in there with that guy, David Price, right? He could have beat him. He didn't even try. He didn't even try. If Howard Foster didn't stop that, 
He would have hospitalized that, my guy. What about when he went in there? What about when he when he sold you like Barack Obama against um David Hay? Man, look, oh, look, look. Come on. Audley, that, yeah, he's up. I love Audley. Don't get me wrong, I love him, but come on, man. Then then he come fought on, Beach. two times. He fought Sprott twice, right? And he won the second Sprott fight. Twice. The first time Sprott. Yeah, Sprott knocked him out bad the first Sprott. time. Yeah, yeah but he was getting off on him the second bad. time too. Yeah. And he bailed himself out with the left hand. That's right. That's right. Listen, you don't have but, to But Natty, Natty. I mean, go ahead, Beats. Go ahead, Beats. One at a time. One at a time, guys. So we get. Go ahead, Beats. Go ahead. You don't so we get knocked out cold to get TBIs, bro. You just have to take enough hard punches. You right. You right. That's true, bro. That's true, bro. But a lot of times, and I love all. That's my guy, because he talks a mean game. All he's the best talker I ever heard in my life. But a lot of times, he just talks himself into the ring to get his paycheck, and then he lays down. Everybody knows that. He ain't take no mean head injuries, except for, except for the bet for bear. He put him down. Besides that, when has he ever been connected clean? It's not the bet for bear. We're talking about Michael. Bet for bear is Michael. Is, is, um, that's, not, that's not Michael Sprock. That's, that's, um, you're talking about, who's bet for, what's his name again? Michael Sprock, listen. David Hayes flattered Audley all over the place, man. What are you talking about? Yeah? That's what I was going to say, B. Man. Bro, he did, bro. That, that man, that right hand, you know, that right hand didn't even connect, fam. Oh, you're crazy. And that, and that, no, I'm not crazy, bro. I, I know Audley. Audley. Audley's a politician. Audley talked his way in the ring, took a fucking jab, and went down, fam. Ah, uh, Umar, man. Now, you can't know. No, no, no. about that. Umar, I don't know about that, man. I don't know about that, Umar. That's, that's... Oh, no, Umar. That's all that bacon soap. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking guy. This fucking guy. Hey, yeah, no, no, no. This fucking guy. <laughs> hey, Umar, Umar. Hey, but Umar, the best of there is Matt, is Matt Skelton. Michael oh, oh, my bad, my bad. I'm fucking him up with Matt Skelton. I'm not British, so hey, I, I hey, get him hey, confused. Michael, no, Michael Sprott was the first guy to knock Audley Harrison out, yeah? Right? And then since then... All he got knocked out by, by look, this is too many knockdowns. Look, the most devil, like, they, um, they made him put a of his nose, and then Price, Price floored him, and, and the most devil. Oh, uh, come on. All right, all right, fine. I'll give you Skelton. I'll yeah, give you Skelton. Look, man, you're too many times. It's heavyweight. You guys, telling me, you guys telling me that David Price really laid hands on Audley? Yeah. And, and not only that, check this out, Ben. Even the fights that he's winning, he's taking a lot of punishment in those he's fights, man. He's not a, he's Listen, not a, let man. me ask you a question. After watching that fight, Natty, no disrespect, Natty, yeah. my brother, but yeah. sign me up to fight David Price after watching Audley fight him. I'll fight him. That motherfucker ain't got no coordination. He ain't got no footwork. Crazy. He just hit hard. He just hit hard. He'll knock me out. Look at me twist. He'll knock me out. But I guarantee I'll last longer. I can yeah, buy him a little bit longer. You be Omar, you be eating your food for a straw. That's what we're talking about here. Um, like, what we're we talking about. To be honest, to be honest, Umar, after I saw after I saw the um, Tony Thompson fight, I think you probably beat Price. Yeah. Oh, who you think? Who you think would beat Price? <laughs> Oh, you think me? No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That's what I'm saying, bro. Price is garbage. That's why I'm. What I'm saying is by being exact. I'm exaggerating, saying I can get in the ring with David Price. I'm exaggerating. What I'm saying is, if Audley was focused, he could have beat David Price. That's the no, point no, I'm no, making. No, we're not, but this the whole topic we're talking about. We're talking about Audley Harris and retiring, and we're talking about these were addressing the effects of what fighters is what was what the, that uh, the fighters the effect on the knockouts. Beast, fly, beast, beast. No, I'm not. I'm not coming at beats. No, I'm just no, saying no, in general. You're doing wrong. See what you're doing wrong. You're doing what, like, um, not saying you're a casual, but they'll just rest. Ah, oh, he's been knocked out, so that's what counts. No, from when he fought Danny Williams, and he lost, he got floored in that. Yes. Thank you. Beats, beats, yeah. Beats, 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 beats. I'm not discounting it. He got not. He fought Dominic Gwynn. I know Audley's career, bro. What I'm saying is. Audley's the type of dude that when he gets touched, he gives up. I'm, I'm just saying he didn't take no vicious punishment. Because yes, when Audley gets touched, he gives no. up. Yes, he has to finish. Yes, he has. Yes, he has. You I, think I, it's, I you think it's uh, 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 You know what? Man, you think it's give up or his system shuts down? I think yeah, he's taking I, so I, much punishment that his system is shutting down. That that because well, this guy has been taking so much... 
with Audley Harrison, he started late. He was 31 years old before he even won the gold medal. So obviously he wasn't used to that sort of accumulation of punches that other boxers have been taking yeah. from teenage years. You know, he wasn't. He just wasn't ready for it. So when he was getting hit with them, tuck, them, hit them, them shots, he was just kept going down. He wasn't. Yeah. He wasn't giving well, up. He just, couldn't, he just couldn't hold them. It's like Amir. It's like Amir Khan. Amir Khan, you touch him with a left hook, he's going to go down. It's not his heart. His heart's great, but it's just his body won't hold up. See, what you, what you have to factor in is he actually went out to research his condition. A lot of boxers don't do that. Right? right. So he's not the only one who has TBIs, right? Right. So right. Traumatic brain injury. A lot of the fighters have. Cool What's it called? Cool cool TBI, traumatic brain injury. A lot of fighters went through it. Whether it's a lesser stage or a more advanced stage. Right? Hey, hey, so like, please tell the fire fans exactly the symptoms of of of, of the the team. Well, it's just um like you know vision, coordination, and um. Moves with all you know, yeah, just punch, pugilism syndrome, and all, yeah, just all that bad stuff. That's what, that's what um, Frank Bruno suffers from, right? Yeah, Frank Bruno, yeah, it's Frank Bruno from his No, no, Frank Bruno, Frank Bruno isn't got it that bad. All it, I think Frank Bruno been um uh going to have it, getting help with it. You know what I'm saying? He got a, uh, a, a, a what do you call it, a psychiatrist or something like that. He got a mental break. bipolar, but him to do with. Yeah, yeah, but he's got bad. Yeah, yeah. Down, but what we're saying is that the, the accumulation of what you get hit in boxing from the heavyweight division, it don't happen straight away. It happens later on down the line. So when we, when B, what Beach is pointing out to Umar is that you're saying, oh, he ain't that tough, or every time he hit, he go down, he ain't the mark. But that's what it is. From the brain ain't meant, to, you know, the people are meant to hit. Him. And his sag was happening to Audi, but I'm glad he realized that he touched it and he's retiring. So. Yeah. You know, yeah, man, cause cause he was he was thinking about getting back in the ring again. Yeah. Yeah. No, Audi should have retired like four or five times over, but he just kept coming yeah. back, man. Yeah, but he, he keeps on coming back, and then he's fighting like once once every couple years and some shit like that. Hey, someone's got a kid in the background. I think it's down the man, you know, thinking that someone needs to mute yeah, himself. Sorry, right sorry, my bad, my bad, my bad, that's, that's, my bad. I'm muting it now. Sorry. That's all right, my brother. That's all right. All right. We're gonna we cover that subject quite a bit, so at least we give we cover it. We, like if fight fans are getting a full dose, man, like you say that hey the pack's back and we're trying to cover everything. All right, so we cover very good. We're gonna go to the main event now. We're gonna go to the main event. So we're gonna start with um um Jamal Charlo versus Vanim Mercerez or whatever his name is. Like I can't pronounce yes. it. Yes. All right, yeah. Matt yeah. 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 Matt yeah, Chris Chris, go ahead, Chris, because Chris been quiet for a while. I thought I thought um Vane's won the fight, in my opinion. Chris, you gonna you gonna elaborate? You wanna elaborate anymore, Chris? Cause you know. Yeah, man. Um, the dude was like he wasn't throwing. A, he was like in the later rounds, he was like being more defensive. And uh, I thought um, Vance controlled the fight. The, in my opinion, in my opinion, better. Who did you pick to win, Chris? I picked Vance to win because I don't think Charlo is tough like that to me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Not a big fan. I can't. I can't. And, um, go ahead, Chris. Go ahead. Yes, he just didn't look. He didn't look comfortable. His facial expression. I thought he lost the fight. Cool, man. All right. Next person, jump in. Go ahead. Oh, you want me to pick? All right, I'll pick then. I'll pick. Um, Chris, you want to go first? Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, Mike. Mike. Mike can't talk for a while. Go ahead, Mike. Uh, yeah. Um, I picked Vance to win. Um, I think Vance won the fight. Um, I thought he was tough. Um, I thought he was tough. Um, I thought he was tough. Um, I thought he uh, I watched it the second time. I actually had Vane's winning by uh, a couple of points. Uh, I came out of that fight a little bit concerned about Charlo. Uh, I thought highly of him going in, but he didn't show me anything special uh, coming in. He was too defensive, as Chris was saying. Uh, he stayed there after he – my problem was he stayed there after he punched, enabled him, enabling uh, Vane's to counter him with a lot of shots, right hands. Uh, he couldn't get – he didn't seem to get away from Vane's jab. Um, and going forward, I think he's susceptible to counter uh, Charlo, particularly with the left hook as he comes back with the jab. Uh, so again, I was a little, I was a little bit disappointed in, in Charlo's performance. Baines, he didn't show me a great deal. I didn't see any great improvement from his loss to um, Andrade, for instance. Uh, but he was, he fought with more force. He threw a little bit more punches. Um, he had more of an offensive mindset. 
Um, so when I when I watched it again this morning for the second time, I might have to give Baines the advantage, even though I predicted Charlo to, to win going in. Mm -hmm. All right, man. Good stuff, Mike. Now you go ahead, yeah, man. To, to, me personally, I was really not impressed with both fighters last night, man. They, they, none of them imposed their will on the fight to me. Um, I, I picked, I picked Charlo to win going in, but I had the fight score to draw that draw at the end of the day. Um, I think Charlo could have edged it if he uh put his foot on the gas in the last round, but uh, I had Vinus Monterosa um winning that twelfth round, and that that gave it a draw for me, man. I was just unimpressed with both fighters, man, and like um uh, Mike said. Um, going into into this fight, I thought Charlo was gonna be something special, and I just didn't see that tonight, man. I, I mean, last night at all. This is not the same Charlo that I saw fought for fight um Gabe Rosado. Put it that way. Mm. He looked uninspired, and <clears throat> it, it, it. I don't know, man. It's, there was something. There was something up going on in that in that ring, man, because he wasn't throwing punches at all, and. All the movement he was doing was kind of ineffective, in my opinion, man. Mm. Well, well, yeah, man. Um, yeah, so, Natty, what would you think? Was that a good entertaining fight for the fight fans? Entertaining? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say entertaining. It was kind of lackluster, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. That's what I saw. Now, what you need, man? Be quiet for a bit, man. Go ahead, what you need. Well, uh, I, I probably saw a different fight because I, I, I picked Charlo to win. But I thought he moved really nice. He reminded me of the young Floyd Mayweather. Mm -hmm. uh, if you watch young Floyd Mayweather versus Castillo, I I've been watching that fight. It was pretty much the same thing. I think because Charlo, he sparred Vanes Matarostian, and he knew him from sparring. These guys kind of knew each other quite well, so it was a chess match. You couldn't just go in there and try and plow over your opponent. So I bear that in mind, and I, I watched to see who was the more, who had the upper hand, and Charlo would land that one two he do that overhand right thing and then go under dip under and go to the uh the left to Vanus Matarunia's left then he'd spin him you know I, I watch all these subtle things um I knew that it wasn't Matarosian who was uh actually in control of that fight but it was actually Charlo so there's these subtle things I was watching at how he throw the jab uh how you, he land those uppercuts, because I, I found those uppercuts were quite interesting. Well, it's not really an uppercut, it's a spare jab. It's more of a spare jab. He missed a couple times. They missed, they missed both of them missed a quite a lot, actually, because it was a chess match to me. So, uh, you know, it was very intriguing to me. To me, I, I gave Charlo the edge. Uh, the, the judges had it a little, one judge had it a little too wide. They had, one judge had it 97 to 93, I think it was, or something like that. Yeah, that was crazy. That was that was out there. You know, I thought it was more like uh, 95 to 95, 94, 95, 93. Mm -hmm. You know, I think it was it was, it was close. It was 96, 90. Well, they had 96, 94. That that made more sense to me. It made more sense to me um, because it was a close fight. I mean, the both guys. But uh, Vanes doesn't have that variety, that defensive variety to avoid shots. He was the much more powerful puncher. He was landing those nice, crisp body shots, those spleen shots were really good, but then Charlo started to use that jab and establish distance so he couldn't land as he wanted to without getting popped to the head. You know, that, that straight right to the head kind of kept him from throwing more of those body shots. And then, you know, it was a two and fro because you could see these guys were balanced, you know. So uh, um, I thought I thought Charlo won, but, you know, if you say Vanas won, I can't, you know, I can't go against you because it was a close fight. In yeah. my opinion, absolutely, well, absolutely, absolutely, man. Yeah. Epitome of it could have went either way. This, this, that's the kind of fight it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, Dan the man, go ahead, Dan the man. Dan the man. Okay, so he ain't there. Go ahead, Beats. Was there any belts at stake on this fight? Pardon? Was there a belt at stake? No, it, was, um, it was a mandatory though. I think for the the WBO or the IBF. Which one of them? I think it was some kind of mandatory, some um, eliminator. Yeah, well, I'm going to try and catch the fight up. I wasn't impressed with Charlo against Masada. I don't think he stopped you Masada enough. But he got the W, man, so these days he got the W, so maybe he can make the adjustments and the improvements and, and go do something, you know? All right, that was cool. Right. It's, 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 it's a lot of close decisions, doesn't he? Yeah, 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 he does. does, man. All right, um, Dan the man, you there? 
guess not, man. I guess he must be busy doing something. Uma, go ahead. Shit, I, I'll jump in, man. Straight, man. I, I wasn't impressed by the fight. Um, to be honest with you, I just all I cared about is the Russell fight. I picked Charlo to win, and I knew, and I, and I called it exactly how it was. I said, go to the cards. If it's a close fight, which it was, I didn't see either one really dominating. Mark, uh, Russell, whatever his name is, he was bringing the heat. Yeah, he was obviously he's upset of after what happened with the Andrade fight, but he didn't look like he learned anything. He wasn't really showing me too much, and it would seem like a, Ch a Char Charlo. It was it was it was there for stylistically for Charlo, and um, Charlo did what he had to do, and he won the fight quite handily, I thought. But it was very close in rounds and stuff like where Charlo hit him with some punches. It was like you know what I'm saying. It was it wasn't a real good fight. You know, it wasn't a fight that people could say get excited about. End of the day, yeah. He moved on. Now, if he's fighting K9, he bro, like I, I, I don't like his chances to be honest with you. Because K9 bring the heat, so you know what I'm saying. So I, I don't really like the chances in that one. But I don't like you, his chances against Andre at this point. After what I, I saw either. last night, I don't, I don't either. I agree with. You. I don't think he could beat neither one of them after what I've seen last. Night. I so, either. so I went so that that way inclined. I wasn't really too much impressed with that. But having saying that, he done his own thing. He got through, and um, end of the day, he moves on. But it wasn't, it wasn't that impressive. Anyone else? Who else? Dan the man needs to jump in, and Umar. Yo, what fight are we talking about, fam? We're talking about the Charlo fight, bro. Yeah. The Charlo fight. Go ahead, Umar. Well, the Charlo fight, we spoke about this last night, uh, uh, e EJ Boxing Live. I expected... Charlo, because my expectations for Jamel, I'm always the person defending Jamel because I think he's an excellent boxer. I think he got excellent footwork. I expected him to just outbox Vamez easily. If it, if it was Jamal, who's the power puncher, who wants to sit in the pocket, it would have made more sense. But for Jamel to let Vamez corner him, body him up, cut the ring off from him like that, it, would, it, it, it doesn't make sense to me. He was supposed to outbox Vanez easily, and he didn't. And he didn't. So that get, that that poses a lot of red flags for me. And and me, in my opinion, if I if I judge that fight fairly, when it, and I told you this last night, the last round, that twelfth, I mean that tenth round, I had it a draw. But they gave it to Jamel. I'm gl I'm glad they gave it to Jamel, but I had it a draw. Me personally. So I don't think that fight should have been that close. And if it would have went to Vanez's way, I wouldn't have been mad at it. So, so he needs to he needs to go and get in the gym and start sparring with Laura more and get his shit right. Because I tell you one thing: if Laura would have been in the ring with Vanez, it'd been a whitewash. Should have been nine rounds to one, easy. You know, and and I think there's something to what you for, to what um what you need said, man, about them knowing each other and things of that nature. There was a whole little situation that went on before the fight. They was going back and forth or whatever, and they they apparently were friends. He probably uh, Vanez Monterosin probably spent some time down there in the gym down there in Houston with um, Ronnie Shields, and they've sparred yeah. each other before. So there's some kind of connection there, and they went in there knowing each other a little bit too much. So that's yeah. probably where the tentative uh, things came from in the ring. They look kind of tense in there at times. Mm -hmm. So that's probably where that came from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it wasn't an exciting fight. And to be honest with Charlo, I'm not really impressed with the two of them, bro. I don't care what anyone tells me. Um, they, were, they were thinking a little bit too much. I thought he fought. When he fought Rosado, it was the same. I thought he fought the same way he fought Rosado. Like, he I, fought. I think that was a little more. He, he let his hands go a little more in that fight, man. I mean, he, looked, he looked smoother in, in the Rosado fight. This he is what I'm saying. Like, if you're a boxing fan, if I, if I brought a casual person, like a casual fan, he's yeah, going, well, what's this boxing? I ain't putting that fight on. Man, that guy was—it was, was self-preservation. Like, at least I see what Umar was saying because Vance was bringing the fight, man. Like he, you know, he was trying to bring it, and things was just on his back foot, understandably. But when he hurt him, when Charlo hurt him, Charlo didn't step it up and say, "I'm, a, I'm gonna go finish him." You know, it's too much to me. It was just, it was, it's just playing it safe. But I guess they got bigger things to fry. I don't like his chances to get K9. Um, we're gonna move on to the main event right here. Um, so we're gonna go in with Gary Russell Jr. versus Johnny Gonzalez. Um, I'm going to go straight up with uh, Dan the Man. If you dare, you want to jump in right now because you ain't said nothing yet. All right, we're going to go with... Let's start with Umar. Go ahead, Umar. Dan is with his kids, man. He, he's not going to be talking right now. All right, Umar. Yeah. Go ahead, Umar. All right, go ahead, Natty. Well, to be completely honest, I was a little concerned. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. 
I, 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 I'm gonna be. I'm gonna keep it real. I'm, I'm gonna keep it real with you guys, man. I was a little concerned for Gary Russell going into this fight. I'm, I wasn't sure how he was gonna hold up, given his last performance against Lomachenko. Well, his last major performance, anyway, because he fought in between that. But the fight against Lomachenko had me concerned about him and the featherweight division. Him being in the featherweight division, but I was pleasantly surprised, man. Um, he, he kind of stepped it up and. Something happened in the third round. He finally starts sitting down on them punches, man. He stopped throwing those little flurries and start landing solid shots. And I think that that made the change in the fight. That's what ended the that that's what um helped end the fight for um for him. You know what I'm saying? That's what um made uh Gonzalez tentative. He started going to Gonzalez's body. You know what I mean? And he was punching through him instead of just punch, just letting off these little pity pat flurry shots from the amateurs, man. So I think uh, he's realizing that he has to step up the level um, of fighting when he's in the pros, man, and stop letting off them little pity pat. Uh, what my man said, uh, BB gun shots, <laughs> and start and stop letting off some pump rifles, man, for real. So yeah, man, I, I was kind of impressed with with, with uh, um, Gary Russell. It seemed like he learned a lot from the Lomachenko fight, but just to be sure that what I'm seeing is real, I would love to see the Lomachenko rematch. Damn, man! All right, cool, man. Let's go uh, boxing and beats. Go ahead. Yeah, you look good, man. Like like you said, you know, jab to the body. And like I, I heard some people knocking the jab to the body for some reason. Oh, it's not an offensive. Listen, that's one of the most effective punches in boxing, man. <laughs> if you can use it properly. And if you can use it on a taller fighter like like Gary did on um, Gonzalez, like Floyd did it on Corrales, it's, it's an excellent shot. It's an excellent shot, man. You can get inside of long arms and land that. It draws a lot of wind out of him. And he, he done well, man. He done well. He, he just read my man's body language, and he had his number. He had his number, and it was his time to take the title. He done what he had to do. You know, punched hard, punched often, worked good, passed my hands. He gave the guys longer reach, and he beat beat the crap out of him, man. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's, that's what he needs to do. But Lomachenko needs to be next now. But he, he was saying he was going to fight Abner Morris for some reason. Once again, I'm going to repeat what I've been saying. Bad for boxing, man. These guys don't want to avenge losses. They don't want to take test themselves like that, you know? Yeah, yeah. Who did you pick in that fight, bro? If they rematch. No, no. Who did you pick in Gary Russell versus uh, Johnny? Who did you pick? No, I didn't even have a dozen. Oh, dear, man. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, what do you need? Well, man, I have to tell you, man, I'm highly impressed and shocked, actually, at the result. Um, oh. I thought Johnny Gonzalez was the craftier veteran, more experienced, knew how to cut off the ring, savvy, smart. You know, going to use that left hook on uh, uh, on uh, on Junior, you know, Gary Russell Jr. Yeah. And Gary Russell, I remember something he said in an interview uh, the night before the fight. He said, I welcome him to throw that left hook. And man, man, I saw, I saw, I saw in the fight when he threw the left hook, Gary would counter that left hook. So, so, uh, uh, uh. Gun, um, Gonzalez would he was he was he was a uh, uh, pressure fighting him pressuring him you know Gary keep that distance with the jab to the pit and then afterwards he just like he anticipated that left hook and man he would just counter it either with a left hook above or straight left and then go under and then left hook and then the combinations and he got that guy in trouble at the end of the third and he jumped on him in the fourth. He jumped on him on the fourth. He was like, uh-uh, this ain't going nowhere. <laughs> and he yeah. just dispatched that dude. He jumped on him like, like, <laughs> you know, and that was it. That was the end of the fight. And he was like, he got the belt and everything and it was like nothing to him because he knew what he did, you know. He did his homework. He did his homework on that dude. And he, he carved him up, man. You picked Johnny. Why did you pick Johnny Gonzalez, bro? Oh, well, Johnny Gonzalez, If you know he was the featherweight champion until Ponce de Leon, right? Yeah. Until Ponce de Leon put him out as misery. Um, mm -hmm. he, he also fought with Vasquez way back in the day. Yeah, and yeah. I know he was a good, he's a good boxer from a distance. He could fight on the inside. 
you know, he's pretty strong. It's just, you know, his chin sometimes gets problems, he gets knocked down. Mm -hmm. But, you know, what I saw when he fought Abner Morris, when he, he, fa he fainted to the body and he went up to the head with the left hook, I knew he was an intelligent boxer. And I was thinking about Nacho Beristein. That's the trainer right now. And I know Matt Nacho is a very, you know, <laughs> he's an expert trainer. And these guys think. He's a thinking fighter, a thinking pressure fighter. So I, I said, I don't know how Gary's going to deal with this dude. I didn't think Gary had the the intelligence, the ring IQ to step up to that level, you know? Mm -hmm. So, you know, he caught that guy off guard. Uh, Gary, <laughs> he, outsmarted the, outsmarted, he outsmarted the veteran. That's the reason why that guy got knocked out because, uh, you know, Gary was thinking in there. He was really thinking in there. And he outsmarted him. Mm. Yeah, so oh, you pick, so you pick some... You pick Gun Gonzalez because of his previous champion, the two weight champion, and, and you champion fought. experience. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, he knows what it takes to be there, and mm -hmm. I don't think he's done for. I just think Gary had his number, mm -hmm. and you know he just had his number. So and he know. looks so slow in there, man. Yeah, he looks so slow <laughs> compared to Gary Russell Jr. You no, know, I think that was a bad style matchup. But last is. Let's be honest. I have no more is that rushed in there. He landed that punch, but before that, he was getting knocked out and getting beat up. You know why? You know why, Chris? Yeah. Because that Namar's got that small miniature mind, man. He don't got a brother's mind where we could think through a fight. He just rushed in there with his right. face. Yeah, I thought that was he got dealt with. Not just from the yeah. word go. I'm just me and Arrow keep this to happen anyway. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm not going to say, I, I, I'm going to keep it real. I didn't think Abner Mars was going to get flatlined by Johnny Gonzalez. I thought Johnny Gonzalez was washed up. But, but I was happy after what he did to Joseph Abeco when he was getting his ass washed by Joseph Abeco and all he could do was hit him in the dick. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's Man. it. That's it. Well, hey, hey, let's stick to it. Hey, let, what you need, finish off what you're saying. And Umo, you jump in straight. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. So I was, I, I, I'm going to just finish off real quick. So you, you realize that, uh, uh, Gary Russell Jr. ain't no punk. You know, this guy, he could think in there. You know, he's not just a guy who throws flurries. He thinks in there. And um, I don't think, I don't really think, now this is my opinion. This is just mine. Other people may disagree with me. But I don't think Lomachenko hangs with that dude. With who? Not that Gary Russell. I'm just telling you. I'm telling you how it is. Oh. My opinion. Oh. That Gary Oh, that Gary, <laughs> that Gary. Hey, you, hey, hey, you know what? Hey, listen, listen. I, I, hey, I'm gonna have to say something here, boy. And anyone else, no way, man. Like he, nah. no man, no man, no man, no man. No, man. No, man. No, man. No, man. No, man. When he was in the ring, right? You see how small he looked in there, and that's why you picked Gonzalez, man. That's why you picked Gonzalez. Like you didn't give him a shot. He's but tiny. But what, I'm saying, I'm saying. Intelligence wins you fights. And he if he was into Lomit, so you're saying Lomachenko is more intelligent than him, right? Well, no, I'm not saying that at all. Something. In fact, in fact, that. when I watched the when I watched the Gary Russell Jr. versus Lomachenko fight, go watch it again. It was a close fight. Gary yeah, Russell Jr. Was, started picking up at the end. Yeah, it was a close fight. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't take it. I'm telling you, this Gary I, I Russell. Had, I had to fight a draw. That fight. There you go. There you go. Man, man, I thought you, I thought you lost. I thought he lost. I thought he lost. I thought he lost. I thought he lost. I wasn't mad. I wasn't. I wasn't. It wasn't a robbery. Right. But I, after I scored the fight, it, it came out a draw. Yeah. It wasn't. It was that kind of fight. All right. Yeah. All right. I got a question for y'all. You you know before the fight, um, Gary Russell Jr. in his camp was saying that you know they hired the strength and conditioning coach and how right, he had him right. on the phone, how he felt lackluster. Da, da, da. Right. To be honest with you, he looked a whole lot more lively in this fight. And you guys, are, hey, you guys, you guys, hey, listen. When I see my little piece, I agree. I, I, hey, hey, let, what do you need? So, uh, what do you think about that? Was there any va validity to what he was saying? No, there was. I, I agree. There was I think. There was, I think. I, I think there was validity to what he was saying, but I also think he's a smarter boxer now. No. And back then, as well. That's what I'm saying. That Chris, tell me the truth, man. You guys, <laughs> yeah, man, tell me the truth. Come on, yo, no, no, I ain't even got my breakdown. No, listen, Michael, Michael, go ahead, Michael. Let Michael. Hey, what do you need? Do you finish what you're saying? Or? 
And night, night, I'm gonna ask you a point on my. I got two more. I'm just curious. I got two more things to say, but go ahead first. No, no, two more. Go ahead. All right, let Michael. Let Michael get some shine. Go ahead, Michael. Go ahead. Um, as you and 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 Chris know, um, I pick. I thought Gonzalez would win. Uh, coming in, I'll admit it. I got egg on my face now. Uh, oh, yeah. I thought just the Me length too. of Gonzalez and the power uh, may, would cause some problems for Gary Russell Jr. Plus, uh, me, I wondered whether Russell coming off the Lomachenko fight, um, I wonder what, this is kind of weird to say, but I was wondering about his toughness coming out of that. Um, but to um, Natty's point, uh, he was much more assertive in this fight. Fought with a lot more force. Uh, I was impressed with his performance over Gonzalez. I, I, I like the, the the jabs in the body. Uh, I like the counter straight shots uh, whenever Gonzalez tries to go with the left. Um, and once I like the fact that once he got him hurt, um, he finished him off. He didn't let he didn't give Gonzalez room to breathe. Uh, yeah. Now moving forward. I, you know, I'm, I, that's up in the air in terms of how he would do with Lomachenko and against the other uh, top dogs at 126. Um, we can ponder on that, but for now, I, I want to uh, give kudos to Gary Russell Jr. and his performance over uh, Gonzalez. I know some some are on social media saying, oh, Gonzalez, he was shot, he was chinny, he was all this and that. Uh, but that would take something away from Gary Russell and the way he performed uh, last night. So, again, uh, I, I salute Russell on his performance and the best performance of his career so far. And I think coming off of not just the fact that he won, but the way that he won, he should gain um, some more confidence and he will be, he should be an even better fighter moving forward. Mm. Well, boy, well, so, boy, so, what's your take on it, boy? Um, Uma, you there? Uma's not there. I'm, I'm going to go in, man. I'm going to go in, man. I'm going to hold me back now. I'm going to hold but back. I just had... I just have two points, two yeah, very short things. Go ahead, go ahead, first, go ahead. One, first one, I want him to defend. So Abner Morris is a good person to defend against, yeah. right? So that's why I said defend. And the second thing is, I, I don't know if, I, I'm, I'm not sure if he could hang with Nicholas Walters, but I'm pretty sure he could hang with uh, Lomachenko. Uh, I I, I, nobody on this planet that weighs 126 pounds can hang with the fucking blood brother Nicholas Walters. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> And to, to B's question, I think the reason they're talking Abner Morris is because Morris is, I believe, is mandatory, so. Yeah. I think you give Nicholas Wolf trouble. What, what, what? Uh, Barry Russell? Barry Russell? Who beats? Who beats? Barry Russell beats. Uh, I, I don't know about that one. Uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> I don't know, man. I had serious difficulty with that one. Listen, I didn't hear the conversation. I stepped out the room from. B, tell me who you think give Nicholas hey, Walker some work. Hey, 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 what you need at another point, though? Hey, what you need? You need to wait out. Let me just get out of the game. Walker's a soap dog on beats big and strong and featherweight, though. Yeah, the game of the fence. I'll cover it, man. Everyone just jumped to this, man. Like, um, yeah, look, if um, if he can stay focused, and he looks like he's focused, stay focused, if he can box, improve on his boxing like he does and use the hand speed and movement, and it, look, he can give him. I didn't say beat him. I didn't say beat him. But in the early stages, someone with hand speed and boxing ability like that, they can they can definitely be effective in a fight. Yo, beats, uh, beats. Let me ask you a question, yo, oh, beats. Who are you talking about? Hold on, hold on. I'm not he didn't say he can beat him. He said he can beat him. Beats, beats. I just missed the beginning. I'm asking you who you're talking about. That's it. That's what I'm saying, right? Let me finish what I'm saying. So, ah, oh, man. Jesus, I just lost my train. Um, hey, 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 listen. All right, you guys, when guys are talking, best is let them try and let them finish at least. Hey, what you need? You had one more point. Is that was it? Look, what I said. Yeah, yeah I, that was it. I see Nicholas Walters okay. like, in, in, the, in the awards um, really wonderful. He's looking kind of chubbish. So I'm, not, I'm not sure if he's having trouble at the weight. You know, he's been a little inactive. So it, it wouldn't be a bad matchup. It wouldn't be a, look, with the power and reach he has, I'm favoring to win the fight. I think he could give him trouble. I think, yeah, I think he could give him trouble. I see Donair with a shot. So, he ain't got that power, man. I think he ain't got no power like that. He's got decent power. Yo, can somebody, can somebody please tell me who y'all talking about is going to give Walters work? That's all I'm asking. 
what beats is Gary Russell. That Gary Russell Jr., sir. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You know how, uh, let me speak. You know how I feel. Oh, hell no. But another thing, you motherfucking Jamaican. Your motherfuckers got a, got a tendency of calling me a motherfucking coolie, so I'm out for your ass right now. You ain't calling me no motherfucking coolie thing. I'm going to be on your side. Gary Russell, he want to mind. That nigga ain't got no work for, no work for that. That yard man, bro. Stop it. Stop it. That yard man going to break him down. Easy. Hey, I didn't say it. I, it wasn't me. It wasn't me, man. Well, I am not in that either. I I, I don't believe it that. Wasn't me, man. That's what's up. It wasn't me, man. The Jamaican didn't say that. He was a Trinity man. Oh, no, not me, man. Not me at all. I, 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 I told hey, you. <laughs> hey, Uma, Uma, say your piece on Gary Russell versus uh, Johnny Gonzalez. Go ahead. No, I mean, I was excited to see because after Gary Russell lost to Lomachenko, I was disappointed as a motherfucker because, I, you know, we all had, everybody on the line had Gary Russell against Lomachenko. Well, I don't know about everybody specifically, but I know Natty had Gary Russell. I know I did. I know Beast did. I know L did. And yeah, I did as well. And everybody else, I don't really know specifically. We had Gary Russell going in, and Gary Russell fought like he really didn't want it. So to see him lose, last night to come out and actually do what he didn't do against Lomachenko, which was step into it, stay in the pocket, and turn over shots made me feel good. Because he didn't leave that pocket, boy. He stayed in the danger zone the whole time, and he was turning over hooks. He wasn't playing. He knew he was coming in to win, and he did what he needed to do, and I was proud of him. But he ain't beating the yard, man. Stop it. You already know. I'm with the yard man on this one. Nicholas Walters is a beast. He's going to be at the top of that division. That's why we was talking about last night. I said to Michael, let the brothers separate. Let Gary go this way. Let the yard man go that way. And they meet at the top. And the yard man going to be the king at the end of it. Sorry. Sorry. All right, that's all I can say. All right. Cool, man. All right. Down the man. Uh -huh. Very cool. Down the man. I'm going to go in now. Like, hold me. Don't oh, yeah. I, I'm going to go in now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> oh, I'm not even joking around. Let me tell you about Gary Russell Jr. Gary Russell Jr. to me, like in that first round, he looked like he was he wasn't too sure of himself. Johnny Gonzalez was never supposed to be Anamaris. Never. He was sliding <laughs> yeah, him, he was sliding from Israel Vasquez. El Finito, yeah? El Magnifico beat him, right? He was sliding from time. They picked him against Abner, um, Abner Murray so he can get easy thing. He went there for he had no respect for Johnny Gonzalez. And he got caught with a left hook. Anyone knows you Jack Johnny Gonzalez? If you look at his knockout, he has a high knockout percentage. Either you knock him out, or, or you, either you knock him out, or he'll he'll knock you out, or he'll, or he'll lose. But he's so slow. That's all. It was easy. That's why you think you see Gary Russell didn't even celebrate about his conditioning. Ain't not doing those conditioning, man. He got beat up, and he fights anyone in that favorite division. He's the weakest champion in the division. The weakest. And he knows yeah. it. He don't really. You know what? That guy's like almost like um, what do you call it? A preppy. Mm, rich kids who just rich boxers, just just gonna happy. Almost like a Berto kind of guy. He's glad of happy it. to be a champion. I'm happy to be a champion and just um defend my belt once a year. Eat with my family and cool with that. He ain't interested in fighting no Lomachenko no rematch. And if he fights Lomachenko no rematch, he wish he didn't because he'll pick up his belt. <laughs> and if he fights Nicholas Waters. Russell, he Russell, Ru Russell Nicholas will be Waters. Waters now. He the mess out of Gradovich. Gradovich, Gradovich, he could be Gradovich. No, he, I, I, he could be Gradovich. This, Gradovich is fighting who? He fighting who? Uma, who's he fighting? Lee Selby. Thank you. Lee Selby was picking that belt up. You think, uh, how you think um, um, Gary Russell won't favor against him? That could be a hard fight, but... That, you no, know, Lee Selby will whoop that ass. Not, he, again, yeah, he probably will. I don't... With Gary Russell, right, just showed what he's been doing all right. Johnny Gonzalez was so slow. I picked him. I said to him, knock out of him free. It was four. It was a knockout in three. I picked that. I said it was a, such a mismatch in epic proportions. It was over. He was such. Even they said to him, "You was a big favorite. Why would you be?" He, he was even saying it's going to be a knockout. He, he uh, Johnny Gonzalez, when he won the belt, he was so happy. He stayed in Mexico. Who was his first title against? Jorge Arce. Jorge Arce is on the fucking pensioners book. Out of a wheelchair, no wheelchair, <laughs> rocking chair. Sorry, rocking chair. Well, you, was, you was defending that matchup though, Arrow. I don't know. I, you know what? I did, you know what? Yeah, you know what? Hey, okay, he's got me. No, you, you know what? Right, you know what? You know what? Why, you know what? Why, you know what? Why, it's so much. 
you know why? It's on my channel, yeah? And I wanted to do commentary in it. So I was like, yeah, that's going to be a good matchup. I'd love to see all Mexican fight because I can do some commentary in it. And I've done it. If you check my channel, you'll see the fight. But that's the only reason why. It don't mean I knew it was going to be a competitive fight. I knew it was going to be one way beat. Yeah, that, was a, that was a horrible defense. Yeah, exactly. That's what I'm going to say. And then he knew, when he went against Gary Russell, he knew. He knew he was going to get beat. It was such a miss, man. Anyone beating Johnny Gonzalez, I was thinking to myself, man, come on. Come on, man. Come on, like. We come. already knew. We were talking about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, number one, by the way. Yeah, yeah. You know that? Yeah, I know that because he. I know they made him number one. Why? They, why? Well, who? 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 You know why they made him? Because WBC belt is the most prestigious belt. That's all it is. And then he's a Mexican champion. That's where they had him over there. He made a little money, but that's the way he went out. Gary Russell just murdered him, and I knew that was gonna happen. But Gary Russell needs to chill, and he's little for that weight. You see how? Oh man, the guy's tiny. Nah, man. He ain't gonna make. He ain't gonna get two dark title defenses. I predict that he won't even make two dark defenses. He faces some Johnny Gonzalez as he will, but you know I burn enough, Chris. Go in and finish them off. Finish off the fight. the Mars. That's one thing. You better say what I was going to say anyway, Earl. Thank you. Oh, no, yeah. That's what I'm going to say. My lungs are Abner Mars. That's one title defense right there. Then they gave him a... Abner, oh, yeah, Abner Mars is, Abner Mars is going to get beaten by Gary Russell, though. Gary Russell will beat him. Cause he, I don't know. It appears if he's in Texas, he's going to beat Yeah, yeah, yeah. The low he's going to be looking for his balls. Abner Mars is the day. He's going to go for his balls and shit. Nah, he, he boxed the mess out of Mars. I'm not impressed with Mars one bit. Mars is a cheating dog. Uma, Uma was right on. <laughs> he was a cheating dog, man. You see the Adler, you see the Joseph Abeko fight? Oh my, I hate this dude with a passion, bro. He was trying to kill this dude. I talked to Joseph Becker. I interviewed him as well. He said, man, that's the way it is. Is The referee didn't say anything. Man, if I was Joseph Becker, I'd go, I'd go to Joseph. Why are you whacking back in the balls as well? He goes, nah, that's not the way I am. a clean fighter. And I was like, man, you're a cool dude, man. He was just took, took an advisor because he's from Africa. And it was just a Mexican situation where they just they robbed that dude. You know, they robbed that dude. And they, yeah. and so he, let me ask you, Chris and Earl, y'all did not see any improvement in Gary Russell whatsoever. No, 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 no. He no. just saw Johnny Gonzalez. This yeah. was this off, too. No, 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 no. <laughs> hey, hey, like this. no. Hey, 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 hey. I no, just asked the question. You're entitled to your opinion, B. Hey, hey, no improvement, Natty, for me. No improvement. I said it. It will be more. Right. Nothing. Nothing. Can't, I, can't, I can't do nothing with that, man. I can't. I can't. Honestly. It was. It was. It, you knew he was going to win. Hey, 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 it's silly. Um. So, anyone else want to say anything about that or anything around that? All right, yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. Yeah, um, like I was saying, th th there's two things I want to say there. You know, yeah, Abner Mar is cool, but like I said, I think he gives Lomachenko the business. And I hope, I hope, I hope through to that. I'm not playing. No, I, I, think he, he, I, I think he gives Lomachenko the business. I know Lomachenko is learning I, on the job as well, but I, I think he gives him the business. Go on, go ahead. Lomachenko ain't got no power, and I heard even I heard uh, Gary Russell Jr. say, "I'm shocked Lomachenko didn't knock me out." Yeah, but that's how much he got embarrassed. This dude's telling you how much he. Got. <laughs> that's how much he got embarrassed that he didn't knock him out because he would have preferred that because he got embarrassed. No, and he was say he was saying in the context of he was uh he was, you know, he was drained because of the um, sauna. No, and, no, no. All right, all right. All right. It's the same thing. How many times he got pushed in the face? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's what it was. I can tell you this, yeah, right. I can. It's the same thing with John T. Wilder and and Stavern. Stavern was saying, "Oh, he was doing out here." Well, but there's excuses they pull out of the air, man. Just take your beating and go about your business, man. Like, <laughs> like he he's the weaker champion. Hey, did you did you hear the did you hear the uh, the interview that Ingram did with um Stavern? Don House? No, what was said? Go he ahead. did it with Don House. Go ahead, no, go on. In, he, in was saying, he was saying that uh, Stavern was with this strength and conditioning coach when he was with uh, when he fought the um, Areola the second time, and he started the camp with the coach, but like two weeks in, he gets rid of the coach and said he could do it on his own. Um, and he was he's getting word from people that Stavern is out there at the strip club and shit, like even on the night before the fight, and it's possible he was out there drinking and shit like that, so. That's probably what caused his dehydration. Now, oh. that's a, he's a professional. That's no excuse. Yeah. You're a professional, you you should know you ain't supposed to be doing that, that kind of shit. No, but you know why? Know, you know why? He, he didn't look right in there. Now you know why, Natty? Why you think he did that, Natty? Because he knew he was gonna lose. He's sabotaging himself. Some people. Yeah, now he gonna lose. Yeah, he knew he was gonna lose. He, he, he no, you know, it, man. Some people get to the get to the top and just sabotage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he. Yeah, 
I don't think he knew he was going to lose, but with heavyweights, it's hard to get them to train because they don't have to make a weight. So if the, in the middle of training camp, if they want to go see some sluts at the at the strip club, they could go do it. Yeah, man, he look, he was wasting my When he was fighting Ariola, we, when he was fighting Ariola, we didn't hear none of that shit. Now he lost. Let me make one point, Natty, then I'll, I'll give it right back to you. Excuse me, excuse me, brother. But look at Ariola's fat ass. That motherfucker could be in the middle of training camp doing 35 rounds of sparring. He can get out and go eat 35 tacos if he feels like it. He's a heavyweight. It don't matter. Nah, but I don't want to when 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 um, Stephen was fighting Ariola, he wasn't he wasn't you weren't hearing none of that. That's that's the point. That's the point. Seriously, that's he knew the he was, that's the point. when he was fighting Ariola, he was with him twenty four seven. Yeah, he had the strength of the coach. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Now for this fight, he said, okay, we got to the top. I'm gonna let him be. You know what I'm saying? He's he, he's yeah. a he's a grown man. He know what's at stake. You know what I'm saying? And Fucked it up. That guy needs to go back to MMA anyway. So I, I ain't rolling with. I ain't rolling yeah, with. Yeah, talk about that. That you what, you said, what you said about yeah. heavyweights. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. What you said about heavyweights is actually wrong. The fact that they don't have a weight limit means that they do have to monitor their weight often. Because if you if you're training for a welterweight belt, you know you've got to make one forty seven. You get everything towards that. Because you don't have the um, the weight limit heavy, you have to monitor what you're eating. Well, yes, you could end up eating a whole load of garbage and get it wrong. Because if you, 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 you no, no, let me finish what I'm saying. All right, all right, because if you if you end up just eating a whole load of rubbish and because you don't have to make the weight, you're not feeling no weakness. You go into the ring and you're sluggish. You know what yeah. I mean? Beach normally beats normally. I don't I don't disagree with you, but this I gotta completely disagree with you. Look at it this way, fam. When you find that 47, right? You walk around, say, 160. You got to lose 13 pounds. Let's say if you walk around 160, you got to lose 13 pounds just to make your weight. And once you lose that weight, you got to maintain it. So you got to be disciplined. When you're a fat-ass heavyweight like myself, I weigh 265 pounds. I don't got to do shit. They can call me tomorrow like, Omar, we want you to do 12 rounds. I don't got to do shit. Get the ring, no, listen, I can get in the ring and take my beating. I'm not going to. No, no, no. Me, because you're only me, about, all right, finish, finish, finish. Oh, what I'm saying is, they could call me tomorrow, like Umar. We want you to do 12 rounds. Cool. I don't gotta do nothing. I don't, I don't have to have a round of sparring. Just like we were told when you brothers did the interview, you and L, that Tony Thompson would did two weeks of sparring before he fought fucking Pulev. Why he do two, two weeks of sparring? Because he had he could do that and get a payday. But if Tony Thompson was a welterweight, he couldn't he couldn't even took that fight because he would have had to make weight. But he didn't have to make weight. All he had to do was get himself in enough shape that he could do a couple rounds you and know get his what? paycheck. I, I agree with you for journeyman, not the dude, not the dude not that's the championship belt around his waist. That's yeah. right, not the lead fight. Right, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. See, you're just talking about making the weight. It's not just about making the weight. You have to make sure your nutrition properly, right? Because you'll see, it's not just about making the weight. Stavon said he was um, dehydrated. How can you be dehydrated if you don't have to make, because he's eating the wrong stuff. Look at Deontay. He was probably drinking. He was probably drinking too. Right, yeah. exactly, exactly. The family, family, family. I'm not saying get yourself in shape to win the fight. What I'm saying, the problem with heavyweights is they don't have to get themselves to win the fight. If they really don't want to win the fight, they just need to show up, is what I'm saying. Every other weight class, they have to work. Regardless of whether they want to win the fight or not, they got to work. Every The heavyweight, they don't got to work at all. If they plan to win the fight, then they got to work. But if they don't want to win the fight, they ain't got to do no work. Look at fat-ass Ariola, who lost his last fight to that brother. He didn't work. He was 272 pounds, fam. I weighed 265 and, and only got eight, 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 um, eight fucking eight ounces of fat on me, and I don't work. That fat motherfucker probably had 32 ounces of fat on him. He didn't work. He didn't work. Listen, look. I think I think Ariola knows that he was uh he was overweight. He said he, he had a birthday and he ate a whole set of pizza after all of that training, all of that losing weight. 
and he said he made he made the fight more difficult than it should have been against uh what's the guy's name? I forgot his name right now. It was a very memorable fight, but because he didn't look like grimace. Yeah, because he didn't stay disciplined. Yeah. <laughs> Because he, he didn't stay disciplined, man. You gotta, you gotta stay disciplined. Done that to him, was it? See, it, it wasn't one pizza. And you see, it's, look, look. Let's... <laughs> <laughs> push it up, push it up. Right, you say that you do Oh man. Oh boy. Most boxers don't you whether they want. Let's look at you go in there to to want to win. And that's what you should be doing. So if you if if you have that, look at Klitschko. You think Klitschko is so successful he don't monitor his weight? No, he monitors his weight, man. He don't blow up and down and this and that. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter that he don't have to make a scheduled weight limit. He's he, I mean, he's point. The heavyweights that do monitor their weight are the ones that are gonna win. Klitschko is a fucking legitimate guy that's gonna monitor his weight. But what I'm saying is. Heavyweights don't need to do shit to get a paycheck. Listen, listen, listen. Any, oh, go ahead, Beast, go ahead, Beast, go ahead, Beast. If anyone remember my breakdown, right, I, I done a breakdown for Stubborn and Wilder, and I went to the scales. I said, look at the fluctuation in weights. I said, look at this guy. One minute he's 260, then he's 215, then he's 2 this, two. that's the burn. I said, look at Wilder's fluctuation. Look at the consistency. I said, and because uh, they were saying Wilder is a professional, I said Wilder's twenty times more professional than this guy. And that's why I knew Wilder. I knew Wilder was winning this fight. I knew Wilder was winning this fight. I knew and, a, and another thing, how said he was doing, he was starving himself to make to get below two sixty and shit. Instead of training it off like he did in the Areola fight, no one was he, enough, man. Yeah. Starving himself. What kind of elite athlete does that? Exactly. Don't fool yourself because it's the headweight division that you don't have to monitor your weight. You mm. have to monitor your weight and your nutrition. Mm. I said you have. Yeah. yeah that, I'm really, I, hey, listen, boy. Like, I, I agree with both of y'all, man, but in the, the day, like he got the, when people lose, they have excuses to pull out. Yeah, I don't want to hear nothing, man. You you know, you had a whole year off, even a year and a, a bit to get ready for that fight, and you out there partying. You knew you didn't, you knew you weren't going that fight. And and in yeah. the day, the Deontay Wilder lose on him. That's why I'm happy. And Deontay, if Deontay Wilder's hand wasn't broke, he would have had another fight already. It's only because his hand's broke. We ain't we ain't seen him in the ring. But um, you know, that's what it is. What was we talk? What was the topic we was just talking about? We was just talking about. Man, I even lost the freaking thing what we were talking about before that. What were we talking about before? How did we even get onto the heavyweights? I'm not even too sure. Everyone lost lost train of thought a long time ago, right? Oh, we were talking about um Johnny um what's his name? Gonzalez and um thingy Gary Russell. It's not, and Gary Russell, two two defenses, Gary Russell. <laughs> Two defenses back, yeah, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Two defenses. You know, he'll get, he, he'll get to I, I, I don't he'll remember this it. conversation. I think I think Gary Russell has a little bit more than that in him. About yeah, he's, gonna get, he's gonna get at least two defenses and a voluntary. Uh, and he'll, 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 now he'll get at least two. <laughs> two defenses <laughs> is more of Nicholas Walters. Then I, I'm in, I'm in agreement. <laughs> As long as he avoid Nick, he'll be two dollar offenses. He'll get at least two, man. Get hey, be Lee Silver, I ain't gonna be, I ain't gonna be in no one, bro. I, 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 anyone can you know, motherfucker. That yeah, that half African is a problem. That half African is a problem, Natty. I'm telling you, that half African is a problem. That British African is a problem, my G. That's different weight class. I think he could beat him. You're talking about Tetsy. You're talking about Tetsy. Nah, they beat him at 26, man. No, I'm talking about Lee Selby, fam. That's Who's the same that? weight class. Lee Selby about to challenge. Hell, Lee Selby about to fight Gravich. Yeah, you said he's half African. What you say? I thought you were talking about Tetsy. He's half African? No, bro. I said African. What's that? That means he's half black, fam. That's half just black and half black. Yeah, half black. He's half black. <laughs> yeah, he's half black. He's mixed race is what he is. What are you talking about? That's just another way of saying it. That's another way of saying it, Errol. Yeah, exactly. It's, we a, don't it's, America, it's an American thing. It's another way of saying he's biracial. 
whatever. Oh, is that what it, is that some actual word? I thought Uma made it up. That's an actual word. No, it's it's not a it's a it's a it's a word. No, I know it's, it's not a word. word. But that's what we said. Yeah, it's a word that's it's a it's a it's a term that's used. Put it that way. All right. Exactly. It's not a word, Aaron, but I don't like the whole I don't like the term biracial because that. That biracial sounds like a motherfucking uh, Caucasian word. Mixed race, isn't it? That's what mixed race. But look, mixed, man. Race, mixed race sounds Caucasian too. I I want to get my own thing. African. It ain't a word that's <laughs> nobody's <laughs> in the dictionary. That's ours. That belongs to us. Let's right. stick with that. Yeah, it's not a technical dictionary word, but it's, it's a term. It's a, it's a term. Put it that way. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. So look, let's continue, man. Let's continue. All right, all right. So we 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 gone through that, right? So. Next week, let's move on to next week real quickly because I know you guys have been around for a bit for the longest. Let's move on to next week. So we got uh, B- B- Berte, Arthur Berterte versus Gabriel Campillo, and we have Adonis Stevens versus Saki Obika. Uh, for the people listening, I'm going to do a hangout before that. Hopefully, you guys, maybe an hour before that, uh, two hours before that fight, hopefully, you guys come over and then we're going to have another show again next Sunday. So let's quickly go over that fight and then everyone can go about the business. All right, so let's start with um, Berberte versus Gabriel Campillo. Boxing beats some rounds. Go ahead. Okay, who's that? Um, yeah, Campillo's getting knocked out. Real? Yeah, he's getting knocked out. Oh, what? I, that's it, right? It's you just, just that, yeah? Look, man, no one's beating that guy till he fights Culver Level or something. Man. No one's beating. People keep saying, oh, look at the mistakes in the floor. He's a man look too. Them guys, the, the Russians are just punching too. They're too strong and powerful, so... We're gonna have to wait for the next phase of boxes who can cope and adjust to the power that they bring. No, no one can just hold this man. He's gonna run for everyone. Man. See, well, be wrapped up nice and quick. Yo, um, now you turn. Go ahead. Yeah, man, I, I, I can't see Campillo winning that fight anyway. He really just got in that position because the dude that he was fighting on ESPN um injured himself, couldn't defend himself. Mm. So. He's in this. He's in that spot just because of that. I mean, he won the fight, you know, fair and square. You know, well, his fault the dude hand got injured, but I think he's a uh, he just in there for food for this guy, man. Food for this Russian cat. <laughs> food, man. Hey, what you need? Go ahead. Um, what are you talking about again? Talking about off of off of the birthday versus Gabriel Campillo. Oh, I'm not. I'm not familiar. Okay, all right, fair enough. Chris, uh, go ahead, Chris. Chris. All right, fair enough. Uma. I said Campio. I said Campio stay getting them chances. Who is his manager? <laughs> he keep getting mad tours. He keep getting in line for title defenses. Who is his management team? <laughs> well, he kind of he, he kind of been be, getting robbed a couple times too. He he been robbed at least three times. Got robbed. He beat um. What's my man? He did. He beat that um. He beat Cloud and he beat Shumanov. He got robbed at least three times in this shit. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh, it's Chris, you, Chris. He didn't get robbed in the span four though. Yeah, <laughs> hey, Chris, who you got? Chris, who you got winning, bro? I got um. The dude will stop him around the fourth or fifth round. He gonna get. I might not get past the third though. Shit, you guys are funny, man. I, I don't know what you guys are talking. I know you guys are smoking, son. All right, um, who else? Michael, go ahead, Michael. I'll smoke one more, man. <laughs> yeah, I'll huh? I, I, pretty, I pretty much agree with everybody else. Yeah, I think Bertha Diaz is gonna knock him inside six rounds. Campio, uh, he got that win that last time out because some meter got him quick. Michael, you your voice is real low over there, man. I don't know what you think. I just think I agree with everybody else's everybody else here. I think Berta B M is gonna win. Um, oh, Berta B. Wait by stop him. Okay. Mm. Uh, stop him. Stop him inside. <laughs> uh, between six eight rounds, uh, Campillo will give him some problem because he's a, because of the height and because of the southpaw. But I just think Berta B Berta B M is too strong for him. too strong for him and has too much power for him. All right. So that's me. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, sorry. Go ahead. Um, someone say yeah. Go ahead. Um. Uh, uh, Mike Mike had that low pitched voice. So let me speak for Mike real quick. Mike Mike had that. If a hoe don't get instruction, she headed for the instruction oh voice. Oh boy. So, so let me just fuck with you, Mike. But uh <laughs> But yo, I'm gonna I'm gonna give Campio one more last hurrah, bro, because Campio, like Natty said, my brother Natty said, he got robbed against Boris. 
and he should have won that fight. He robbed the other fight after that, and and then he always is in the fight, even against Farfar. He was winning that fight, and then he got knocked yeah, out. He got caught. He, he exactly. All he seems to be winning the fight, and then he gets clipped. So I'm gonna I'm gonna just go with him to finish the fight. I'm gonna give Farfar. I'm gonna get far far by decision. He'll probably get clipped and get knocked out, but I'm gonna just go with far far. Far, are we talking about far far? Bitter beef, man. Bitter beef. No, 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 no. Far to BF. I'm gonna go with Campillo because Campillo is fighting far far. I just said far far because I was talking about that fight. I'm gonna go with Campillo because Campillo always seems to be winning, either get clipped or get robbed. So I'm gonna go with Gabriel Campillo. Hopefully he can take this fight back to his country because he's always coming from uh, his country and coming to America on fucking jet lagged and all that bullshit. He's always a disadvantage. I'm going to go with Campillo. Hopefully he can bring it home. I'll go with yeah, Campillo. Yeah. Um, what do you mean, dude? You know, you know about a better be... Yeah. The middle, this, this is a middleweight, middleweight match, right? No. no, no light, heavyweight. Light, heavyweight. Light, heavyweight. light heavyweight. Light heavyweight. Sorry. Kovalov for me. Right, right. So, um, bitter BF, right? Yeah, but... That's, yeah, that's not, that's not the guy who's plowing down everybody? Yeah, that's the one who's plowing everyone. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, no, no. Well, Campillo has no chance. Who you got then? Who you got? You got Alpha Bebe, 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 yeah? Oh, of course. All right. Who else we got? And everyone else said their piece. Let me say my piece, right? Beats, you done your piece already? I think everyone else has said their piece on it. Yeah, Beats done his piece. Nah, you done your piece on it, right? Yeah, I done my piece on it. All right. I'm, man, I, I'm going with Gabriel Campillo, man. I'm, I saw in his last fight. Better be look terrible. He looked terrible. He, he's being he's being pushed too far, and I think this is a this is a step too far for him. And I think Campillo could do him. I think Campillo was a step too far for him, bro. He can outbox him. He got he's got he's got all right power. And I, I take Campillo by decision, man. He can beat him. Bro. Yeah, buddy. I'm getting with Campillo. You better get his form in with the for at the center. Yeah, he's gonna fight. man. That's how he fights. That's how he fights, man. I think. Better be vain. Better be. This is is he's a good fighter, but I think it's too early for him. But if he can... Trini, Trini boy, Trini side side boy. <laughs> yeah. I say, I still say, I still say, better be a. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool, man. No, that's all right. That's all right. All right. Let's move on to the um, the main event of next week. Anyway, I know we're gonna do a show on it. So Adonis Stevens versus Sakio Bika. Go ahead, boxing beats. Yeah, I've got Bika winning. Oh. <laughs> oh. All right, Beast, oh, shit! Beast is slipping on. Yeah, over there. Beast done drank too many Guinness. <laughs> Beast done drank too many Guinness. Let him spit himself. Hey, Beast, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Beast. Break it down, bro. Yeah, I think Beast's work rate. I, I think um, Donis cr- cruises a, a little too much. I think Beast's work rate and strength. Beast just as strong as Von Farah. If he can get into the late rounds, um, Steve's in a world of trouble if you don't get him out of there early. A world of trouble. And like, um, if he can just stay close to him, smother his shots. I think he, I think he'll carry his physical strength up to light heavy quite easily. You know, because he's, he's quite a bit. He was quite a big super middleweight. Yeah. I don't know if he can pull an upset off that. Wow, big shit, man. And then wow. finally, I think he 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 he'd give Colbert a serious test as well. Shit, well, shit. Ah, right, you heard it first. Thesis Thesis called it the boxing encyclopedia spoken. All right, let's hear from uh, Natty Turner. See if Natty, what Natty has said. Man. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Come yeah, back. man. Um, I'm, I'm going with Superman. I'm going with Superman. Um, No doubt, uh, Saki Obika is definitely heavyweight in a 168 pounds body or whatever. You know what I'm saying? He, he, he should have been moved up a long time ago. He's going to make the fight ugly for, for a minute, but I think... um. Oh, uh, what's the name gonna pull it out, man? Probably TKO late. Oh shit! So, you know Sakio Biko's never been stopped on Natty, right? Never. That's why I said TKO. He's not gonna get knocked out cold. He's just gonna be unable to respond at a certain point. Shit, man. Or, or, the, or the ref gonna wave it off. Damn, man. Okay. All right. Go ahead, Michael. Um, I didn't like how Biko looked in his last fight with Darrell. He seemed to show some signs of the slippage of age. Um, if he couldn't, if he had difficulty dealing with the length of Durrell, uh, I think he would have the same difficulty dealing with the length 
uh, Stevenson, who's not the taller guy, but he has real long arms for that division for his height. Um, I think that the jab, and he has that long, he has that reach, and he does so with power. And so for me, that when you put that into the equation, plus I think the signs of possible age on Bikas, um, I think that Stevenson will win by decision. Um, maybe even late round TKO stoppage, but I, I have to go with Stevenson on this one. Mm-hmm. All right, go ahead. Uh, what do you need? Go ahead. Stevenson drops Bika early. Later on, finishes him off. <laughs> sure, <is> sweet boy. <laughs> I can see it. Now. Chris, go ahead, Chris Caban. That's a mismatch. This the first time we're going to see Bika actually get knocked out. I think he's going to get knocked out for the first time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, I, and for me, uh, Umar. Go ahead, Umar, actually. Go ahead. All right, Umar in there. All right. For me, uh, it's a showcase for Stevenson. Biko's too slow. Um, he has some good days in him, but he can really get hurt in there. Hopefully, they're going to have a good referee. Hopefully, they don't put Steve Smoker in there because he's going to get a <laughs> He's going he to he, he he stretch him out, man. He's going to stretch him out. I, I don't think, maybe not. Maybe not. Like, I think technical knockout, but he's going to get a serious. Yeah, nah, this, yeah. go, this is going to be a knockout. This is going to be a KO. Stevenson hits too hard, man. Yeah, he's gonna go to sleep. Man. The move is smooth as well. He's smooth, like he's real smooth, like he ain't, like you know. What I mean, he don't really like get like Beaker wants to make it rough, so Beaker wants to get him and yeah. get him rough, hit behind the back of the head yeah. and all that. But you don't. Yeah, Beaker hurt by guys that's not big, real big punches. That's the one of the cop now. What was his name, Daddy? Huh? This one was because it was Curtis Stevens. What's the other dude's name? Which one? That fought on the contender. That fought Beaker in the final. Oh, Joe J. Don't care. Oh. If he had Beaker hurt real bad and not, he yeah, not Beaker. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay, hey, yo. Hey, you know, that guy with no big punch. Yeah, that, that, that was time ago. And, and, and he, 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 he was. 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 And yeah. I think the new weight limit is going to suit Beaker just fine. Yeah, he, yeah, he, yeah, you're right. You, you know, that's yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think the weight is going to be too much for him. I think he should have been gone to 175, but it's going to be his first time and his first time feeling that kind of power, man. Uh, at that high level, too. At that level, man. So I mean, the You guys go fast. So why think, why was Beaker? Say again. Uh, go ahead, Mike. I just think the length of the arm length. He has much longer arms. Yeah, and, and, and he was he was hurt by Darrell a couple of times, hurt right. and dropped by Darrell. And you, he, you had got, times, he had all kinds of trouble dealing with Darrell uh, staying on the outside and the boxing ability of him. He won that first fight. Stevenson with the longer arms than okay. yeah. Darrell has, and he's gonna have, he's gonna have that jab working overtime. Um, he gonna have he, he's gonna have Speaker come in straight into that straight left hand, which we know is powerful. Uh, I just. Beaker will give him props, but I just think overall Stevenson is the better fighter, and he will show it um, next Saturday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. But he, the reason why he he fought at super middle was because that's where he was strongest at, and like really realized he ain't gonna get another title shot, and he's just he's desperate right now. He said, "Fuck it, I'll fight at light like, heavy." But fucking the, the 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 prospect of him doing anything that this is far and few between. I expect he won't get a good old fashioned beating. Like I said, I don't want Steve Smoger in there. I hear what hear what Beach is saying because you're right. He going to be more, but he. He, he he felt he was probably more stronger at this one. This is his first. Imagine this is his first time going up in the weight, and yeah. you're going against the fucking premier guy at the weight class, man. I give I give Beaker all the credit. He's a tough dude. And, and, and I, I like he, Beaker. Don't get it twisted. I like Beaker, but remember we're talking about Beaker here, man. He's a he's not you know slick or anything of the na- of that nature. He's a crude boxer, man, <laughs> and he, he's there to be hit. Yeah, that's why. That's why he, you know, he couldn't get no fight. Remember, Carl Frost didn't want to even fight when he was a champion. Remember, he came down, and put his belt on the table. Nah, he didn't want to get roughed up like that. Carl Frost, yeah, not like Joe Calzaghe. Like, you none of them guys rematched him. No one likes fighting Beacon, man. I give Jerome credit. Mean, he, he, he roughed up Andre Ward. Yeah, he did. Andre Ward said that's a tough fight. Yeah, Joe Calzaghe. He did Joe Calzaghe a little yeah, bit. Did Joe Calzaghe all fight. That was easy, bro. Gonna rough up Stevenson, boy. You watch, watch as he's gonna get rough up. Rough up. Fights in Canada, they ain't gonna let that happen. Oh, yeah, he's gonna, no, he gonna make it ugly for a minute, man. But Stevenson gonna p
People don't watch postcodes. Way too much punch and power. People don't watch no postcodes, bro. You don't watch postcodes. You can put it by anywhere you want. Yeah, but in Canada, in Canada, it's going to be CBS. Is that free TV, right? Yeah, no, yeah. CBS. Yeah. CBS yeah. That's, that's, yeah. It's free TV. Yeah. Free TV. Yeah. So, yeah. Well, it's like regular CBS where the evening news come on that's and all that. Yeah, this is going to be good for free TV, man, to have this fight, man. This is a really good showcase for Al Heyman. This is a very good competitive fight. It should be, but I reckon it's going to be a massacre, bro. Stevenson is way too strong, though. Yeah, he's he way is. too strong for Bika, man. Yeah, he is. He is. He is. I, I, I find this is an unfair that. matchup. I think that. When does Steven Stevenson don't win fights with physical strength? Beats is right on that. You know, I, think it's, you know, I, think it's a, I think it's a skill thing. Yeah, I think it's a technique thing as well. I think it's a skill but, thing, not necessarily a strength thing. Because what do you got? But, what do you but, guys think? What but, do you guys think of the rematch with Daniel Boone? Darnell Boone. Daniel uh, Boone is a he's a sleep, man. But why what you need is bringing up the strength factors because Beaker is going to make it about strength because he's that's how yeah. he fights. Yeah. yeah. So, I, think, is a I think Stevenson is physically stronger than Beaker. So Yo, that's not, not going to play to his advantage. Yo, can I jump in on that last fight? Yes, go ahead. Man, let me say, let me say this. Yo, Yo Beats, my brother. Leave that cocaine rock. Oh, dear. That rocked up cocaine. Leave that up. Oh, my G. Ain't no way he fucking with Superman. He gonna flatline me. He has been knocked out, bro. He has been knocked out. I don't care if he's never been knocked out. It's the first time for everything. Listen, 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 listen. Fafar ain't knocking down no beaker four times on no floor. Right? Listen. Knocking over, before he knocking my man down four times on those floor, right? Superman, no, you know how. Fafara went the distance, right? And Fafara's been knocked out before, right? Beaker's never been knocked out. And Beaker, Fafara ain't never been knocked out. Beaker's, Beaker's been in way harder than Fafara. He's never been knocked out. If you got <laughs> Beaker, Beaker been in with Donnell Bone. He's been in with uh, um, Andre Ward. He's been in with Anthony Dur uh, Anthony Durrell. He been with everybody. I I feel you. I got number respect for that dirty fighting motherfucker. But he ain't gonna be able to fight dirty with. He gonna be able to fight dirty with, uh, with uh, Superman. Superman. That's a dirty fighting motherfucker. He gonna be able to do that shit with Superman. Superman hit him with straight left hands. He's gonna flatline his ass. Listen, this ain't Tony Bellew. Ain't no Tony Bellew, bro. Listen. <laughs> Finish my statement. Superman by flatline. Beaker flatline. We never hear of him ever again. He's nah, done. You know what? You've been hating on Beaker from the Darrell days. You can go about your business. You have. You've been hating him from the Darrell days. He lost that, fight, that first fight to Anthony Darrell. No, you know what I mean? No, he didn't. No, he didn't. No, he didn't. That fight was a fucking legit. I'm going with that. Listen, El, El calm your nerves. I'm going with the Haitian sen sensation. Haitian sensation Canadian. Haitian sensation Canadian. The only brothers that held us down during the slave trade was the Haitians. <laughs> so I'm going with them. Haitians held us down this week. Stop playing. Haitians win. Man, who wants to fucking do All I know after that fight there, right? My, my, my man will be lucky to come out with belt. And listen, oh, this, I guarantee you this. This will be his hardest fight he's ever been in. Yeah. I guarantee you that. Yeah, yeah, all right. Screw you on that, Beats. It's going to be a hard fight. I don't think he's going to get whitewashed, but y'all hating on Superman. Superman going to get rid of Beaker, and I'm sad it's Beaker. I'd rather Beaker go fight. If Beaker stay at 68 and go fight George Groves after George Groves gets the title that, that they're so trying to give to yeah. Groves. You know what I mean? They're trying to give George Groves the title. Go take his title. Then B can take it. Blah, blah, blah. But guess what, bro? I want to see Superman flatline the boy you know I'm talking about. And then we where's, talk. Where's Groves going to get a title from? From Darrell? I, no, no. Natty, I'm not saying going to be Darrell. I'm just saying in general. They trying their hardest to get that, bro. They trying their hardest to give him a fucking title. You can see it. So Darrell, Darrell got Battle Jack in front see, of him. He's going to get rid of Battle Jack. 
Another TMT fighter exactly. now. Yeah, and then he's going to lose. He's going to lose to right. Anthony Terrell. And then I guarantee you after that, Natty, they're going to try to give him another title shot. But we ain't going to talk about that. What I'm saying is, what I'm saying is, all I want, I don't, I don't even want Sakio to have to fight the hard way, unlike George Groves, who got knocked the fuck out of the conscious. He gets another title shot just for waking up after his leg was broke behind his back. He gets another title shot. Like well, Sakura, 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 Sakura. Sakura. Well, I'm going to say this, though. If Bikido, if we're on the Mama's Boy, 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 he's going to have trouble. Listen, bro. All I want in my life, fuck Sakio. No disrespect to Sakio. And I don't like Sakio because he's a dirty fighter. But at the end of the day, I fuck with Sakio. What I'm saying is, all I want is Superman to flatline the one guy you know I'm talking about. I want to see him laid out in front of his mama. Can, I want to see his. We can talk about that. We can talk about Kona fight. We can go ahead, Uma. Go ahead. Go ahead on that fight. Go ahead. I want in my life. I'll give up the Floyd fight. I want to see Kovalev flatline in front of his mama. And I want to see Superman doing that 40 inch vertical leap <laughs> in front of him, laughing in Canada. If I get that, I'm satisfied. <laughs> Y'all can have everything else back. That's how I feel. Exactly. But that's my point, Beast. He did everything he needed to do in the ring. Just like Emmanuel Stewart said, that brother's going to be the champion. And nobody gives him respect as the lineal champion. They talk about this brother like he's some kind of afterthought, like he's some kind of scrub, like he didn't earn his way, like he didn't fight all them fights, like Carl Fox ain't, ain't duck him at 168. But these clowns don't know about that. Like Carl Fox ain't duck him at 168. He earned his way. They don't give him no respect. So I want him to drop Kovalev, and then we have no more conversations about this stuff. I think he was Andre Ward's man before he and Andre Ward declined the fight. You got damn right he was, but they both ducked him. But they don't give this brother no respect. Let me let, let me just it pisses me. Let me interject, right? You know, um, so uh, Arthur Be um, Beaver, Be Be whatever, Beaver, Be whatever, is fighting on the undercard underneath. So maybe he might fight Stevenson next if that don't happen. How do you guys see that fight happening? This is going out to everyone. Stevenson Ooh, wins. Be, that'd be interesting though. Win, you know, man, but who wants to see that when that's the wrong Russian? We want Kovalev. Now, right. he can, now he can pick him off. He can take that one out first. Oh, and then man, nah, you, you, we stretching the shit out a little bit too much, man. He's on undercard. He's on undercard, and he's on the same. He's on. What I'm saying, he's on the same promotional outfit. He over in Showtime. So I'm saying that's an easier fight to put together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I understand. Yeah, I, understand, you, but, I hear your arrow, but the folks want to see Stevenson Kovalev. Yeah, Period. that's the wrong yeah. Russian. Yep. Like, get Beaker out of there, and let's make this Kovalev fight, man. Yeah. Yeah. To get past his mandatory too. I think he has to fight some mandatory real quick, and they could make it later on this year, man. Then that Russian beat Kovalev and um, amateurs. Then that Russian beat Kovalev and amateurs. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, but even he's not putting too much on that. He's like, yo, that was the amateurs with different fighters now. When he was asked about it, Burby's making a big thing about it. You hear Burby on Twitter? He going in on Kovalev, man. He ain't got no respect for him. Oh, him. really? When they yeah. asked him, yeah, when they asked him after his last oh, fight, yeah, yeah, was in Russia, they liked him better than Kolov, man. Kolov was like, they don't like Kolov, man. That's what, but they do now. But like then, like Burby was the bigger after claim. He won more. Yeah. He done more amateurs than um, Kolov, man. You know what I'm saying? So he had a better amateur background. Yeah, he did, man. He did. But like, I'm going with Campio. We'll see anyway. We'll see, man. So, man, it's been a long ass night, man. Um. Anyone else? I don't think now. Nah, I ain't gonna say anyone else gonna say anything because they might just say something I want to hear. So um, I'm gonna close this down, man. So we got over here. Ben Umar, the boxing terrorist, catches ass on Twitter. Boxing piece of rhymes, the encyclopedia of boxing. YTB, yeah, everyone knows the boxing beast's channel. Pound Pound Boxing Report, Michael. You check his channel out. All you do is type Pound Pound Boxing Report. You find him. Um, Mr. Nighty Turner, check his channel out. One of the best channels out on YouTube. Yeah, what yes, you sir. need. Yo, check him out. Up and coming, tough channel. You're on the top of his channels on YouTube as well. EJ Boxing Live all over the whole YTBC. Check my channel. Look, five different channels. I'm sure you catch me. We're going to be here again next week. Make sure you catch us up. Um, so from the panel, myself, and everyone else watching, thanks for coming over. We'll catch you next one. Peace. 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 Blackberry Sugar.